wonderfully violent escape from our captors and I most, most pleasedly pour the arms off of our kind, kind warden. And we have left the others out there with a little bit of a, a spark put out. So they should be distracted for some time while we make our escape. That's the long and the short of it. Yeah. Um, you all escaped prison. Congratulations. We will be picking up our adventurer as you are about an hour down the tunnel. Uh, as I described at the end of the last game, there was a collapse in the tunnel behind you due to the uh, intense nature of the storm and actually the mages bringing down the punishment ward on top of your positions. Uh, roughly an hour after you've made it out of the prison proper and through this tunnel and away from the break you step out into what is a slightly larger space the roof of this natural cavern stands uh between 30 and 35 feet uh tall depending where you're standing in the room you can see five different dark alcoves that lead into tunnels in different places all around the wall some high up raised above a slight uh break and others situated at ground level. The darkness of each of these five paths is imperceptible. Is that uh, potentially human uh, presenting the cocoon accurate? Um, it is accurate. You will note that it is small. Much smaller than even any of you, including Shuri. <coughs> Sorry, Shuri um, is a what race? Non halfling? Oh. Wood elf. She's just very slender and I believe okay. she's we decided that she was the smallest of you all. Mm -hmm. She's just a petite she's just petite. You can hear the scuttlings of things in the darkness. Um some of you have light Still, Zashi, you're holding your uh, produce flame in mm -hmm. your hands to give light. Uh, but I believe that that is the only source of light currently. Yeah. Tree uh, does have dark vision, right? Uh, Inafina hates not being able to see shit. And he immediately pulled, since he has access to his at his adventuring kit, he immediately gets a torch out and strikes it up very nervously. You hear very nervous, like, clattering of light of his flint steel. That's the problem, little piggy. Scared of the dark. No, I just can't do shit if I can't see shit. Big smile moves up to the, uh, the wrapped up carcass. I'm going to see if this thing has anything to offer. And I will take a claw and just sort of run it down the length of uh, this wrapped up body. Okay. See if there's anything in there. As you run your claw along, rather than like cut or even saw through the membrane, you more tear this very dried webbing. Uh, from what is you like i mean there's a puff of dust and uh uh possibly like uh, uh, even like rocks as you uh uh, uh crack open this uh, um almost mummified uh uh creature give me a con save as the smell hits you uh this is some ripe rot odor contained and sealed for probably years inside this thing as it decomposed and then dried in the bottom of this uh, cocoon. The 24 
your gorge rises all the way to the back of your throat, but you're you yeah. turn away, take a breath, sort of cough it out. Yeah, take a deep breath, clear yourself, look back down. You can look into it. You can see that whatever venom was injected into this creature, you're, you're <clears throat> unable to tell what it once was. Essentially, reduce them to a slime like consistency that they that they then puddled in the bottom of this uh, air and water tight uh, cocoon and bones? was seemingly forgotten. No, bones melted. No uh, strips of cloth, no pouches of coin, no nothing. I'll just sort of take a quick poke with through it with um uh I was gonna I was gonna give myself a, a long sword that a flavor is just a real big cutlass. Is that cool? Or part of the sewing gear? Yeah. Cool. Um then I'll take that and That's well it. within the barbarian <coughs> item, so. just poke through it. Um and um just dejectedly just let out a sigh. You know what I was hoping I might find a little bit of plunder, but I guess I just found some diseases. Well, I'll be leaving them behind. I'll just give it like a slight kick and keep moving on. Um, just real quick, um, before it is relevant, um, I know a spyglass is unreasonably expensive as far as starting gear goes. Would it be acceptable for me to have one or not? No is a perfectly fine. No, answer. but they're not going to be incredibly hard to come by. Yeah, um, just I, coming I was, out of the prison, I don't think. Yeah. Like that would be something that you like. You would have probably been reimbursed for afterwards because that was that was something that either one of the two occupying forces would have wanted. Whereas, like a sim a weapon is one thing, especially like people get very attached to their swords and things like that. But yeah. like a a spyglass, somebody would pocket that, probably, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, and also, to clar clarify, did we get our starting goal back as well? Or is that not? Sorry to bog it down. Uh, no, I didn't, con I didn't consider it. High or low for starting goal? Uh, let's, let's go high. D20, please. I burn. Bad. You may not. Dang. You are all poor. You're actually coming out in debt to society. Zeke was already in debt to society. <laughs> <laughs> Zeke doesn't burn like all down. Um, you see Penziver does seem to be able to see through the dark, but Tum, uh, uh, the human is not able to he actually trips slightly over the the uh well uh, shell that you opened tom uh and if you know would be given light now so and he would stick with the other people oh what did you do to, to... He, he has torches so oh okay here so he, he, he that's what he was rushing to do right away when when it was pitch black okay yeah i didn't want to interrupt because there was plenty of cool stuff going on because it's such a mundane thing. <clears throat> Tien is low. At least partially unable to focus. Peggy, would you hand me that torch? He lights another torch, gives his gives that one torch to uh actually before he gives it to me he says, What's my name again? I'm doing this for you, little lady. I can see just fine in the dark. I don't care if you hold a torch. I just want you to stop calling me Piggy. I like it, though. It's I good. don't, so please stop calling me Piggy, asshole. I am an asshole. Thank you for recognizing me. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep calling you asshole, but I don't like calling you asshole. I like to call you by your name, so call me by your name, because that's what I want. I don't think I will. Gives him the no, fucking torch. No. And, uh. Thank you. And I'll take it and sort of hold it up. And, uh, sort of 
set my pipe between my lips, use the torch to light it, and then hold it up and keep moving on towards. Um, you do, you do, you do a thing that I'm very familiar with, which is that you accidentally put the <laughs> very hot thing a little bit close to like you're very familiar you you smoked your pipe a lot yeah. but it's one of those things where the torch is very hot and you do have to hold it there for that first pull yeah. you don't burn anything you don't sit anything in yourself yeah. you get that that little bit of crispy and you probably yeah. it the only thing that saves face is you turn your back on yeah. fitna for this as you go and like put it pull it away from your face yeah. zeke has an intelligence of eight that is something he would do <laughs> um is there anything up here that I can hear. Give me a specific perception as you listen. Uh, as unfortunately, this whole place echoes with this kind of just skittering that you can hear in the darkness. It's notable that even though you're this close, the darkness of the archway seems solid. Shuri, you, Shuri, you know you're close enough to see. These two are both on ground level. Your dark vision should let you see through it, but for some reason you can't. Sure. <clears throat> no idea. Hey, this might be absolute darkness. You've never you've, you've oh, heard of it before. Let me let me let me toss my produce flame down there. Throw a little fireball down there. See if we find see anything. Sit down. <laughs> okay, so your light does go out until you you pull another one, which I imagine you would immediately do. Yeah. As you throw this ball of fire down the tunnel, how far are you trying to throw it? Oh, she's giving it her best softball pitch, like whipping it okay. down there. 30 feet as far as you can throw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, as it gets uh, about 10 feet from you, you see it seems to gutter slightly for a second. The sleek flames around this uh, uh, ball of flame that you've thrown almost all flaring outwards and then inwards for a second. And then it continues on its path as normal, and you can see the light carry down the tunnel as it does so. Um, still repeat with this other archway here. Okay. The same thing will happen. So you see your uh, ball of fire hit the wall right here in this corner. Work, work. Okay. You're not sure what that is, though. You're not seeing anything like that. Huh. Well, right or left, folks. We do have a couple other options, but though they might require some clambering. Uh, before we go down the tunnels, can I check these ledges? That. Yeah, uh, he's gonna hand his. He's gonna offer his torch to the human. To the uh, the human. I forgot the human man's name again. Tom. T U M. Uh, hey, Tom, can you hold this for me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so I guess this is probably the hardest one to climb up, right? Uh, yes, that is the tallest one. That one is gonna be twenty feet tall. Okay. Uh. You can see that the, the archway that like forms this almost doorway is pressed right up against the ceiling. Okay, one second here. <clears throat> Just want to get my handy dandy jump calculator out. My strength score is... Hmm. Just give me an athletics to climb. Yep, yep. Well, first thing, actually, he's actually gonna he's gonna ramp up and he's gonna run to jump up and get high, 
and then start climbing from that point. Okay. I was, so I was so confused. The room went silent. I was like, "What's going on?" Okay, yeah. So he gets, but he he takes it. He he moves back ten feet, and then he runs and jumps up. Okay. Give me the athletics. Yeah. Okay. Get back to my tab. Sorry. Let's check. So he's trying to get up to twelve feet, or you know, ten feet high, and then he's going to climb from there. Okay, with a ten, you do get up there, but you've put on your armor in the time between the last game and this game. You clank very loudly as you pull yourself up, like sliding. Almost, there's all, and not quite a screeching sound, but it's that loud scrape of metal on stone as you like slide sideways up onto the um, the top of this uh, uh, ridge right here. Well, he's only got it's only it's studded leather armor. Would that still make the noise? Oh, sorry, I was looking at your your. It, it does. It's not quite as loud, but you, you like the buttons. Yeah. Scrape. Yeah, the little the little studs. Yeah. Just a couple <clears> little. A large. Yeah. Well, as you're as you like kick off a rock, falls off of the wall underneath your foot and clatters on the ground and then across the room. Also, out of curiosity, uh, rabbits, as I know because I have one, are extraordinarily bad at walking on sleek surfaces like stone so i'm wondering if he's having any trouble this yeah definitely this is definitely indicative of that like it's it's like it's like dog on on hardwood floor kind of shit yeah okay you are you are up you are up there flat on your back sit up look down this tunnel it's dark as before um i didn't move the light source it's still on yeah, you. yeah. uh okay. tom tosses well, yeah. the the torch up to you oh yeah he, he grabs it and then he uh lights lights and then looks out looks down that way a little bit and uh he's not gonna leave the room he's gonna light another torch i guess i mean how many he only has a few torches right uh whatever your starting ex, ex, equipment would be okay so explorers pack has what five ten or ten yeah ten torches so yeah ten and he torches. gave so this is this is the third torch then. yeah so this is the third torch then so he's and, gets, yeah, yeah, these are all. I, I'm assuming you guys are gonna all use your torches until they're out. So mark down yeah. the three torches. Yeah, yeah. He's got yeah. So he's got seven left. So he's yeah. He's gonna he's gonna light one. He's gonna take the one. He's gonna take one he's already got lit. And he's gonna he's gonna hurl it down the tunnel as hard as he can. Give me another athletics to throw. Oh, um, can I use my once per session, or do we still have that offer? Yeah. Ah, a little better, but. Okay, you throw it, it clatters a little weakly uh, off of the ground. Uh, but again, you hear this loud sound uh, as the the uh, uh, hardened wood haft strikes the wall and then clatters to the ground. And you see, illuminated in the light of the torch, a large, many-legged body that immediately no. makes a hissing sound and rushes out of the darkness at you uh Delicious. as you see oh, hey, 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 hey. a giant spider coming at you reeling back on the cliff everyone please roll initiative god it's always spiders can i can i, can I tell you guys a secret this is giving skyrim can this do, is can giving I, skyrim can i tell you guys a secret um it wasn't gonna be spiders but y'all said spiders last time so i made it spiders <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe we're escaping imprisonment into a spider lair <clears throat> now are you a storm cloak or are you imperial no that's fair very very the house always wins ending um, These she... default tokens for the giant spiders are fucking ridiculous to me. They look nothing like a spider. <laughs> it's kind of no, pretty what spidery. Is that? That's giving. It's giving cockroach. Pretty spidery. I don't know. <sighs> I guess because it's in watercolor, it's stressing me out. <laughs> I've seen a lot. Of... All right, Tom needs to roll initiative, and Panaziver needs to. What? Are, who? Who? let you have all these NPCs. Who gave these motherfuckers to you? 
Um, you, you this did. Is, this is I. I'm. Too. I'm aware. Um. It's because the DM wants to play his game. Yeah. Right. Uh, Penziver, uh whips around as you start yelling. Hey! 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 Up on the yeah. cliff. Uh, yeah. She does not have an angle, but she raises the hand crossbow to point it in your direction. You see she ha holds the sickle loosely in her other hand. She has a prepared action to fire. Which will come into play as a gi giant spider rushes out to greet Inafirith. Um, because it's 20 feet up, and this is only a large creature... She is going to have, um, let's say three quarter cover. Let's give it to him. Uh, plus five to the AC for this hand crossbow shot <clears throat> from Pensiver. That's a twenty one, which still hits. Um, and you're in melee range with it, so that is five plus. 10 for 15 damage as she fires the crossbow up into it. Uh, it now uh, bites you. Uh, one quick question. Um, Answer. Since, since uh, Fidna does not have control of uh, Speaker's Animals, but it's basically always it's active, basically, for him, hmm. uh, when it hissed at him, did he understand what it was saying when it hissed at him, or was it just making this, ah! it was just going, ah, at him? It the it seemed like a scream in response to the light. Okay. Um. Uh. It, it may be translatable as ow. Yeah. Ow. Um. But it's hard to say. Let's see. Bite. That is a ooh a twenty two to hit you. That hits. Okay. Uh. Please take eleven piercing damage and make me a con save versus poison as you feel heat rush into your veins from this bloody giant spider with a crossbow bolt sticking out of its many eyes. Ooh. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, take five additional poison damage. Heard? Huh. Um, taking poison damage on a Okay, that's only if you fail. Okay. So we'll go to you now. You are holding a torch. There is a torch on the ground behind it. It is bloodied from that crossbow bolt. Okay. Uh, he's going to start yelling, We don't want to fight. We're just trying to pass through. Please let us through. Please let us through. Uh, animal handling is your action? Yeah. Okay. Uh... The rolls you, are not rolling tonight. Yeah, you. This is what was happening in my game earlier. I like. I swear we didn't roll above a ten the whole game. Um, okay. You raise your hands and you're and you're saying this, uh, trying to speak to the spider. But unfortunately, you're still brandishing the torch in your hand, and that more than anything seems to blind it to whatever you're saying, or uh, definite okay. to whatever you're saying. I guess. I guess would 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 he be able to kind of figure out that maybe he? I guess would it be an intelligence check for me. Sure. I understand. Yeah. It's, it's I would say you that. probably pick up on it as it shrieks and then goes to like, the, in that way that spiders curl in on themselves before they l jump out again. It starts to like pull back away yes. from the fire it's in like a way that you know. Yeah. yeah, in a way that you know means it is in no way mollified at you. Could, um, could that he, is your could action. He, yeah. Can he drop the torch off the off the edge to help with this? You so, can, but it's gonna help next turn okay so uh, i don't know if you still want to do that yeah he's gonna drop it off the ledge and then he's gonna rabbit hop with his with his free his bonus action okay he's gonna drop the torch off the side he's gonna, he's gonna you know like like peacefully drop it off waving hold his hand up and then he's gonna rabbit hop away <clears throat> which i think okay. is still gonna make an athletic he's gonna have to make a check to, to not fall prone because it's over 15 feet yes acrobatics yes okay so yeah, he's gonna make the hop, which is still insufficient to make the jump all the way down, and then acrobatics to, 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 to avoid taking a fall. Do you want to just jump with your torch? Oh yeah, I guess he'll hold on to it. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Talking unsuccessful. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you go 
and jump basically straight back and down and land right in front of Tum, who is like looking up and can only see like your head and shoulders. Uh, and you just land and ca and all of the 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 force is just absorbed by your uh your knees and uh, uh backwards jointed ankles. Yeah, and, and he turns to the elements like it didn't like that shot. You definitely heard it, but uh I might be able to I, I, it might be able to tell it to back off. I, I don't know. I mean, we don't have to fight if we don't if if, if we can fish right. And then he, he's definitely like like nursing a, a wound. And uh, do I need can I, do I need to make a save on the on the poison? No, you are not poisoned. Okay. It just it does damage if you, yes. if you if you fail. Okay. Canoodling with giant spiders. If that's you, that's it for me. Okay. There is a skittering and a scattering from one of the tunnels that is still dark. Uh, and out from the mouth of this cave pours almost a river of much smaller spiders oh, no. congealed together in a swarm that seems headed directly towards Panzer, who turns. She had her crossbow aimed at the one up on the cliff, and she turns towards the swarm. Um, Tom is going to see the same thing. He has the axe from the uh, 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 prison, so he'll run towards Penziver and give a chop with the battle axe two-handed uh, into the swarm of spiders. A nine is not going to hit the swarm, unfortunately. From the eastern side you hear a another loud screech and hiss and another giant spider pulls its large bulk out of the darkness to breast uh, uh, atop this ledge it looks down at zeke and sheree just looking up at the thing and then just growling under my breath and then turn to you know, just like, god damn it, little piggy. So, Zeke, does a 22 hit you? Uh, believe it or not, yeah. Okay, you are hit with a blast of webs from this spider. Uh, you take no damage, but you are restrained by the webbing. Uh, while restrained, you uh, have no speed and can't benefit any bonuses from your speed, yada yada. Attacks against you have disadvantage, yours have disadvantage, and <coughs> attack saves have, have disadvantage. Uh, you can try and make, try and break out with an action on your turn. Cherie! Zeke just got webbed. Shit is going down. There are spiders here. That's his first moment at this. Mm hmm. Yeah, thought. Uh, that one is fifteen feet up. Throw the stone dagger at it, okay? Ooh! It sails over the spider's head and clacks off into the darkness of that cave. Fatality. That tunnel. Okay, if that's you, just 
angrily tearing it, tearing at the uh, at the webs, um, and whether he means to or not, you're not quite sure. But he sort of tears at. By the, is, it is not your turn just yet. Just oh, so sorry. Spiders. Yes, more spiders from the dark. Zashi, they do have to dash to reach you, but a swarm of spiders comes out from the darkness and immediately begins climbing up both of no. your boots and your legs as you're swatting at them until they begin to cover you. No! Zeke, now it's your turn. You're, you're struggling. Um, just sort of like scratching and uh, sort of tearing just chunks of web strands from his body will like tear down tear across his chest and will perhaps intentionally perhaps unintentionally it's unclear he's just kind of this ball of web and fur at the moment but rips one of the daggers into the sheath and then strap across his chest <coughs> and kind of drops it next to shari um and then i will bonus action rage and action try and break free Okay, this is straight strength, but you still have advantage because of your rage. Uh, uh, where are we? Strength. Just straight. It's not a saving throw or anything. Yes. Uh, 18. You just tear these threads from yourself. Yeah, and I'll just sort of look up at the spider um and then uh quick question does sash make any noise when the spider stop filling a boot fucking screaming like for a moment Bloody his eyes murder. Just kind of filled with fire and he's just looking up at the spider and he's real mad if this and was happening in real time him. produce flame produce flame on herself over and over again burn herself to <laughs> death <laughs> just like catching the scream uh in the side uh and just shakes off the web and then growls at the spider on top i'll deal with you in a second and uh rush off uh towards zush just to give her a bit of assistance there okay uh although i can't attack because it was my action to break free and I hate to be this person, but I found out how this works when I was playing a Barbarian. Your rage does end. Because you haven't attacked or taken damage since your last turn. Even though you just raged. But I did get attacked, though. You didn't, didn't you didn't, damage. you didn't, you didn't take damage. Um, or if your uh, turn ends and you haven't attacked a hostile creature or taken damage since your last turn. Okay, I'm no, very sorry. I <laughs> no, uh, since your last turn, like, it's, it, even if you, like, in between the time since your last turn, like, or so a reaction uh, would have also, I'm very sorry. Do we house roll that, or do we just... I'll let it go for now, but, uh, 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 it, essentially, no, it's, it's supposed to stop you from doing just that, which right. is rage to help yourself with just strength. Um, oh, in the future, well, I, I will mean, rule I'm it the other way. To... Immediately yep. going to right, out. Right. Yeah. right, 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 yeah, um, yes, okay, in the future we will do that, Zashi, you are covered in spider, oh, fight music, excuse me, <laughs> sorry, I got so caught up with listening to spiders, I was just enjoying myself, I'm sure you guys all understand, um, so, so I'm just covered in spiders. They're not like covering you, but they are occupying your space and actively crawling up you to bite you. Got it. So I'm gonna. Oh, God, I wish you hadn't moved there, Ezekiel. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna stumble this way. Okay. They will take an opportunity attack as you move out of their range. Is their range uh... their square? Yes, zero, because yeah. they are they are a swarm of tiny creatures. Um, a seven is going to miss you. Uh, so right. you f f f <laughs> and step out of the the uh, swarm of spiders that was eagerly lapping at you. All right, let me look at this really quick. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Um, I'm not hearing the music from much either. Is everyone else? Give it a give it a quick reload. You may have muted the tab, possibly. I do that sometimes with Roll Twenty, and I go and I go. Why is my music not working? It's possible that your output sound for Chrome is not the headset that you're using. Oh, okay. I I am gonna cast Burning Hands in a cone towards these Ooh. motherfuckers. Okay, spell save the DC 15 is accurate? Uh, yes. Okay, with a crit fail of a two, they are all going to take eight fire damage and you hear a satisfying hissing squeal as the, uh, what liquid is in, trapped in their exoskeletons is boiled and bursts from them with popping hisses and steam and smoke start burning up from this swarm of spiders. Hell yeah. <clears throat> uh, if you'd like to keep moving, you're free to do so. Sorry, I was just doing some math in my head to make sure that that DC was right, but it was, yes. Good stuff. Um, and... Good to check. Um... I think out of... I think as a... As a <laughs> I feel like as a character choice, she's gonna... I'll, I'll bonus, bonus action... You cannot. You just cast a level. You just cast a level spell. Oh right, right. I forgot that's not a cantrip. Yes. Does, does, wait, does that also count if it's an in, like an innate? You oh, you get it from fate touch. I get it from yeah, being a fire genasi. Then absolutely, you can do that. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. You but so I'm burning hands is fire over. genasi, and then you misty step is your thing. Hell yeah, that is that is exactly how it works, and it's badass. Uh, you do need to come back one, but you are you are good. Uh, you right. do still have the rest of your movement if you want to continue running. No, I think she's good at this, as, okay. at this direction. Okay. Uh, Penaziver is going to shoot at the swarm of spiders. That's a crit for nine plus. I gotta double this. That much sneak attack, Jesus. Mm -hmm. 4d6s. Panaziver is a badass. Okay, and, uh... so 29 plus 9 <laughs> is 30... 38. Eight. Oh, by the way, 38 that, that wouldn't have been half. accurate. Because Vinci oh. Step is a level 2 spell, and Burning Hands is a level 1 spell. What? what? I, I... Doesn't... Isn't it if you cast the same level spell? No, it's any leveled, any leveled spell except cantrips. Got it. So okay. one through nine, yeah. Uh, because the sw because swarms are resistant to piercing damage, it will still take half of that. Um, so half of thirty-eight is nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, so she reduces roughly a swarm of twenty-two spiders to a swarm of three. <laughs> with just a sp it, rather than rule this as one shot she just fires four times with the uh uh hand crossbow using her her crossbow expert to just quick reload again and again and again as she's popping the spiders that are jumping towards tom even as he's pulling the axe out of the stone uh and she's gonna back up and zashi i'm gonna say you're probably facing the big one here so she puts her back to her to yours back to back awesome uh, this giant spider comes a crawling down after Fidna. Fidna, bite attack. An 11. Will not hit. Okay. It is your turn. <clears throat> okay. He's like, he says, he's once again speaking in animal league. He's like, look, man, you, you picked your own fight, man. Just fuck off. Uh, and he's gonna here uh, that was last rabbit hop because we haven't had a short rest yet or or a long rest
Okay. Yeah, he's gonna. He's just. He's gonna pull out his. He's gonna. He, he's gonna uh, sling his bow behind him, and he's just gonna start punching the fuck out of the spider. Just whack. He's gonna punch him once, okay. and he's gonna spin around and back kick and and mule kick him and do okay. do a pushing attack with that kick. Okay. So totally. He's totally unarmed. So he gets to get, he gets to do twenty three hits. Damage. So he does four point bludgeoning damage. He punches right in the face, and then he spins around and he does a mule kick with a pushing attack. Uh, so he uses superior to die with that too. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen will hit for ten points of damage, and it has to make a DC sixteen uh, strength saving throw. I think. Right. Let me make sure about that. Uh, you. It does not matter actually. Strength saving throw. Okay. You crush this thing into the wall. Yeah, he kicks it and it goes splat against the wall. He's like, well, that was your own damn fault, bitch. <laughs> I feel like it might do the thing where, like, his foot sinks into it and, like, he has to pull, he pull up, pulls out, like, a goofy foot. It would, side. it would have if he didn't do the maneuver. Uh, yeah. yeah, I kicked it away. The, and it that it sends it fucking shooting across the room. <laughs> he battled to his kick. It right and into it's, the like, kind of above him, so he just kind of, like, kicks it up and arcs up and lands. I, yeah, I don't know. I back I kick know. would to me fun. spinning yeah, back kick. Yeah, up. I don't know. Okay. I, he straight kicked it. He straight kicked it. Uh, he's trying to kick it away from him. So yeah, if it was yeah. if it was next to him. It was right into the wall. Okay, oh. hell yeah. And that's uh, it. For, and uh, he's going to um, move over to and uh, and prepare. Yeah, get closer to so get better vantage on the other one. Actually, he's going to move over to uh, Sherry and back her up. So back okay. it up the wizards. Or back it up, the magic folk, and uh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's, he's, he doesn't, he already put his weapon away, so he can't pull it out right now. But he's gonna be ready. Okay. So you know what? Uh, he's gonna use his action surge, and as part of his attack action, he's gonna pull out his bow again. So yeah, action surge, and he's gonna okay. attack. And that was just, yeah, that was two attacks. He's get, he gets two more attacks with his action surge, right? Yes. Yeah, cool. And he's gonna fire his bow twice. Okay. At which? At the other spider. Okay, this, this one. one. Giant spider. <clears throat> so action surge is used. Boop. And longbow. First attack, 17. 17 hit, hits. Right? Damage 10, piercing. 10, very nice. Another shriek, crush, shrill cry <laughs> of pain. Can I, is, is it just, just, it's just a shriek of pain? It's not like any words? No. Okay, 19 will definitely hit. Yep, for four, for four more, which will bloody this spider yeah, uh, and, uh, as it shrieks. And you don't quite make out a word, but it is uh, a specific. You do pick up anger specifically mm. in, oh, oh. in the hissing and bubbling sound. They're real. They're real pissed. They're real pissed. And he kind of crouches down by the rock and kind of cowers. Okay. When you throw fucking torch at them. Uh, this swarm of spiders, uh, rolls an 11, which is Tums AC, to By bite way, him uh, for 6 percent. <coughs> we can't see Tums' name, so I don't know if you want to do something about that. There, there we, go. we go. Uh, he's being eaten by spiders. Um, while covered by spiders, he is going to swing his battle axe, two-handed this time. Uh, a 12 does hit for 8 slashing, and as there are only 3 spiders remaining, the 4 damage will serve to cleave them off of him. So he shaves them off of his body, taking a little bit of his beard and arm hair with it as they go. Oh. Fucking hate this! <sighs> Looking around, he's a little shocked he's gonna back up from the tunnel towards the middle of the room, but uh, not advance on any creatures. Let's roll a d6 together, shall we? Damn it. Creep, crawl, creep, crawl. Cherie! This thing uh, spiders its way down the wall and across to you. It bites you. A 10. That will miss. Thank God. It's your turn. Uh... Panic stabbing thing in the mandible. Like. A uh, 14. We'll just hit. Yeah. Oh. 
Keep the distance. Dab out into it. There's a spurt of something, ichor, venom. You're not sure. It gets in your hair. It's awful. Uh. <laughs> okay. Swarm of spiders. Zeke, you have a new friend. <laughs> the swarm of spiders attempts to bite you. A 14 to bite you. Uh, that is my IC. Oh. All right. That is going to be 10 piercing reduced to 5 for you because you're raging. There are spiders all over you at the start of your turn. They are I'm in your fur. Just very, very mad. Just yeah. breathing out the, the smoke from his pipe to, you know... When you smoke bees out, that. Uh, and then he is just going to basically smack into the wall to crush them on one side and then spin around and do the it's same Like a thing. bear rubbing its back on a tree. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's do uh, a. And ooh, we'll keep it reckless because that's good stuff. Um, go one yeah uh i'll just roll all the attacks i guess because well, give, give me they're, give they're me cool. no do 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 the damage all right do it do it each do it each time A angie, angie slam angie. for eight um, which is reduced to four uh yep. these things are bloodied less than half of the swarm remains all right then i will go do back. the same again 17 and hits Hello? And for six, reduced to three. Just sort of squish him off my body. Mm -hmm. You do um, still have quite a few on you, though it is less than half the swarm. Uh, and then I will just do that once again. <laughs> okay. 17. That'll hit. Four, six more. Roll on and squish him. Okay, there are probably four of the largest spiders still clinging to your body as your turn ends, but you've demolished this swarm. Chunks of spider carcass are all around the wall, and you guys have basically just seen a large smoke cloud sort of expand to cover Zeke, and there are just thumping and squishing noises coming from inside of it and growling. Uh, and then I will sort of burst from the smoke cloud and not too worried about the, you know, two or three spiders that are left i will rush around in order to uh, assist with the um the vigorous spider. okay you did reckless attack so that is a 21 yeah. to hit you for yeah. the half swarm uh that is going to be six piercing reduced to three for you yeah and is that your turn yeah all right zashi you are back all right i'll uh, ironically i want to cast this on the big spider down infestation okay con saving throw on the giant spider uh 13 will fail how's uh, it feel motherfucker <laughs> give me the d6 for poison damage and roll me a uh oh yes nice one and, sam yeah 2d6 and then give me a d4 Five poison damage, and it moves east five feet. Stepping Shall there. No, it this movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, but it is nearly dead as you like cause almost like spots like liver spots to start appearing all over its carapace that spread outwards the poison soaking into it and that's my turn okay panziver is going to aim for the she'll step here and aim around the rock for the last swarm uh 23 is gonna hit no sneak so that is nine reduced to four which is exactly what we needed Steps up next to Fidna. It is your turn, Fidna. One spider remains. <clears throat> that looks like we're sorting around it up. We're starting to sort it out. So he's just gonna 
lean back over the rock now that he's got people around him. Just fire away. Damn. Woo! What does that look like? 18 points. As the bug got kind of just kind of teetered over, was it's infested by shit. As it's like pedipals are all like twitching. Arrow right, right between, right between his eight eyes. Just... <laughs> and it falls over dead. All right. You are all out of combat. You've survived your initial forays into the tunnels. And as silence descends once upon you again, you can hear in the darkness skittering further away, but still present. Y'all, I'd be more careful. Okay. But, um, no buts. Maybe, maybe they have some more of those dead bodies with some something of value. I don't know. I mean, I think we should just get the fuck out of here. But if you feel if you're feeling greedy, I mean, I don't mind calling back up from one of them fucking holes. You know, the big ones we're at. I think we should get the hell out of here, though. Just saying, because they don't really want to talk. They're kind of hungry, and that fucking thing hurts when it bites you. Ugh. Yeah, somehow I don't expect spiders to be good conversationally. I mean, I almost convinced to stop, but <laughs> Miss sure. uh, Miss Miss Panas Panas Bear here fucking <laughs> unleashed a beast on that motherfucker. You should have seen really? how bad it was hurt when she first shot it. That was an impressive now, lady. Sparks. You're real squishy. Maybe you don't go up first. I heard you scream when they crawled on. I mean, I'm not that squishy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, up to you, but I am quite happy to move on ahead. I feel we feel we should go down this hallway since no spiders came out of it. Sound logic. And I'll sort of take the torch that I probably dropped earlier and pick it up and, and keep moving. Penaziver is looking at one of the other tunnels, but we'll follow as you guys start moving in. Give me a perception, Zeke. I is a normal perception go for this pretty good. Uh with a seventeen, you hear a sound that stands out from the rest of the skittering, and you look up at this large web that you're about to pass under and there is a crackle not of dust or stone but of electricity and you watch as a stray blue spark plays along that web and with a 17 you can see in the darkness at the edge of your vision a brown spider that is slightly illuminated with blue banding at the joints that pulses almost as if with electricity. Okay, turn around. I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, something inconvenient. A electric spider. Uh, Pan has ever looks at you, Zeke, and points back the way you came and went, and goes, like, what, like, like. She kind of looks around you, shrugs, steps back out into the hallway. Respectfully, Zip, I would much enjoy fighting an electric spider any other day, but I need to get my feet back on a ship. ASAP. 
Zashi and Fidna, you are standing there. Would either of you like to make a check to see this creature? Yeah, he just wants, he wants to take a he wants to peek at it and maybe try to listen to it, see what it sounds Easy like. And and... Shit. Yeah, give me a perception to spot it. There we go. Yeah, uh, you do uh, see it, Fidna. You can see it's actually not that small. It's probably <clears throat> as big as a medium-sized dog. Um, crouched in, in this alcove in the ceiling. Uh, it looks, as I described, do you want to give me a nature, now that you've seen it? Um, spiders aren't your area of expertise, but you have heard of animals that have become imbued with different elemental attributes, especially those in areas like this that are especially affected by the constantly shifting lines of the war where area of effect magical uh, uh, damage can last for a long time. You're not too familiar with like magical radiation or anything like that. It's not something that you've studied or probably even heard of, but you yeah. do know enough to be like, yeah, sometimes magic gets into animals and it affects them in weird ways, but... Okay. Like... With a 12, you don't really know much about this creature. If it's an electric spider, it probably has some kind of electricity. You can see that the web seems to have that same electricity. Yeah, Finna, Finna looks to Sazashi. He's like, we both just kind of shrug at each other. Yeah, it's like, weird. I, yeah. A lightning that's, spider. That's weird. I, I was like hoping maybe it was intelligent or something, but it looks like it's just a fucked up critter. And I don't think we can really mess with that, especially consider we're like on our kind of like, you know, low on resources and just kind of messed up anyways after that last fight. Let's get the hell out of here. Which ways would you think of going? Sorry. What would you say, Zeke? I didn't catch that. I was talking to Zip here. He's just a step hand as of a. Your uh, instincts usually. Seem to lead us well. Which way was you gonna go? She looks around. Um. I'm thinking maybe this way. She kind of shrugs, and then she said, "She goes. She does this. She goes." She, like, points at all five and shrugs, and then points at the one that you guys started down, she goes like this. Yeah, I figured that much. So, Hansberry, you think we're just going to have to explore until we find one that leads out, right? She snaps and points over at you. All right. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. I, I'll, I'll focus on Overwatch, because uh, that's, that's what I'm oh, good at. Oh, wait a minute. Some physics... The thermodynamics, if I produce flame and hold it next to this tunnel, does it does 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 the flame kind of react towards the tunnel as if there's some wind going that way? Uh the whole like area seems to have a little bit of air current to it. I feel like the air would probably be being like sucked up and out by the fire in the prison. <clears throat> well, re remember that there's the the uh, rock collapse, oh, right. which is not going to stop airflow, but it's going to heavily restrict it. Yeah. So that you're not getting, like, wind yeah, it's not, blowing. Yeah, it's not, it's not sucking it out hard. Mm -hmm. it's just a know, little... Not a bad idea, Zash, but how about this? And I will um, take out a wineskin that's probably got a bit of water in it and... Uh, sort of drop it onto the ground and just see which way it flows. Oh, like, uh, uh... Water. Yeah, to check, like, um... Yeah, water flow. I mean, if you're standing at the mouth of this tunnel and you mm -hmm. pour it on the ground, it will flow down that, that tunnel. It doesn't, like, pool backwards into the room. Right. Oh. All rivers lead to the sea, shall we? Uh, 
I do not know whether that is a compliment, but I shall be taking it as well. <laughs> Sash, can you uh, light up this patch of darkness? It's got some weird magic shit going on. Um, you can see that this is where the, one of the swarms actually came from. You can see lots of like spider eggs in this clearly like nest like small alcove. Okay, so it's an alcove, not a tunnel. Yes. So, all right. Yeah, I will let you know if you see another barrier like you encountered previously. Not that they seemed to stop anything. It's just do I light, see strange. the webs over here? Yes. Um. Anything you know down this I'm tunnel? just gonna, and I will. Uh, how tall is the ceiling? Uh, in this tunnel, ten feet. What do you mean, anything down this tunnel, Zashi? Like you're like, looking. Like my when That's I'm the holding alcohol. a light. What do I see? Oh no! There? This is the alcove that I just described. It's spider oh, eggs. It's like a small nest. It. That's where the swarm that attacked you came from. Got it. Got it. Okay, thanks. You you would actually like be able to say like no, that's where that like thirty spiders came out of. Ew. Uh, and I will sort of take the lit torch and just sort of hold it up because I assume the fucking eight foot Zeke has at least two foot long arms and can reach the ceiling with the assistance of a torch, and will light the web. Are you sure? Uh, I mean, if someone wants to stop him, they're welcome to, but that's what Zeke's doing. Um, is Tom still holding the torch for us in the back? Yes. Uh, no, he gave that to you. Okay. Um, is, in, uh, uh, Finna is going to say, hey, I have good reach with this bow, but it's difficult to hold a torch and the bow. Could you do hold the light source for me, and I'll give Overwatch for you? I'll give a nod, switch to holding the battle axe one-handed. Thank you, sir. I'm just, yeah, if, if I can't immediately see any, you know, significantly sized spiders or significant numbers of spiders or some kind of creature in the web, or immediately nearby, then I am just going to light this web on fire. Okay. Uh, it burns very quickly, almost more melting than catching fire um, as you pass it through uh, the center of this very large web. Just at the edge. Just okay. Burning it up so that, I don't know, it doesn't fall on us or something. Zeke doesn't know how big spiders work. <clears throat> and uh yeah keeping an eye out definitely for more potentially lightning spiders apparently um, uh sashi you don't notice this you don't feel it but fitna you're standing behind her you watch sheree just reach up and grab a lock of zashi's hair and just kind of run it through her fingers as she like touches it just very gently like careful not to like pull zashi's head just like clearly just enjoying the texture and just kind of lets it go it's a little bit creepy how close her face was though can i help you you do not know zashi i'm very sorry the, oh, with the 20 sleight of hand you don't notice as you're looking into this spider hole got fitness it. is because she's there behind you he's behind you finna doesn't say anything to anybody He's just, he's, he's basically, he's like, his eye looks at it, he sees it, and then he doesn't do anything else. He's looking around and watching for any threats, but he doesn't say shit. So. I mean, I guess, could I roll to notice? It feels a little weird. I, I rolled against your, I had a sleight of hand versus your passive perception. Got it, okay. Um, so I... I would not have described it if Fidna's did not was not good enough to see from behind um so i am um basically just slowly moving forward burning the webs and keeping an eye out so let me know if you want me to make a check of any kind um perception as you're going okay Shit. The, unfortunately, like, with the flame right in your eyes, it's actually a little bit harder to see into the shadows, yeah. the alcoves, but you're doing, you're pretty sure you don't see anything, like, 
scuttle, scuttling across the webs, uh, yeah. except for very, very tiny spiders, uh, smaller even than those that would com comprise a swarm. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, continue doing that. Uh, this looks like another alcove. It does. You can see that there is a somewhat fresher looking, less humanoid shaped uh, cocoon uh, partially dragged into it. You can see like what might be the feet of this creature, but it looks more dog or maybe even deer shaped than humanoid. Yeah. Quadruped. Yeah. Quadruped. Medium quadruped. Maybe even a very small centaur. <laughs> With what the like their back snaps back to their main body kind of yeah spine melts and then you just yeah, um, yeah. sparks if you could uh, get some light in that corner I don't like not being able to see it unless it is actually lit up like, um, is, it, is it wait should I assume that these little alcoves and holes are magically dark no you should not no you should not okay. i will i will let you know so zashi if you move over uh here uh or anywhere like near ish z you can see into that which is, appears to be a uh another alcove filled with spider eggs however this one is crawled over by maybe two dozen large hand-sized spiders uh that they seem to be kind of staying back from the edge especially as the light from your flame sort of uh, uh cascades down into the darkness um but they don't seem to like be immediately rushing out to get you or anything like that this is easily as many this that is form giving this me the creeps like i'm getting anxious <laughs> would you like to burn spiders yeah yeah please I make an attack like roll to burn spiders please once okay burning hands uh with a sizzle and a shriek you catch these uh this swarm of spiders unaware uh and it makes a deck save dc 15 that's a four so that's gonna be 10 fire damage just into this nest as you uh uh cast your spell and this how many times can you do burning hands as a fire genasi oh wait actually i think i have to wait until a short rest to do okay that, so why don't me... you re-roll as a produce flame yeah well, and everybody give me initiative as the spiders can come pouring use out. your own spell slots to cast it yeah I think not unless use... it is also known on your spell so unless Sasha is yeah, all taking I the think time i, I, you not I don't have it in my spell book I know it off the top of my head. Right. You can innately cast it, but it's not something you've taken the time to learn as a wizard. You're, you've focused yeah. on other things. Okay. Right. And Eleven unfortunately misses. You throw out this fireball, and it lands amidst the eggs, catching them on fire and immediately spreading to the other webs around it. And as the eggs begin to catch fire, a wave of spiders come pouring out towards Zashi, You've never seen a spider look angry before, much less a swarm of spiders. But as they shriek, it is a cry of war. And it is echoed from down the hall as thousands of tiny spider voices raise up together. Can I get everybody to roll initiative for me? It's uh, spider time! Direct quote from the spot you didn't ask thing. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, uh, I was just about to quote that too. Sam said it right. Uh, you can cast the spell if you have spell slots available for your level. You don't have to have it. Like, like, pretty much every race or anything that grants you the ability to cast spells lets you do it if you have the spell slots. Mm -hmm. Work. It's but yeah, that's okay. Cool. We're just, we're just, I'm just, I'm just, just for the future. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather use produce. This is a, this is a, this I'll is a warlock ruling though. No, this is, the, this is the race thing. You can paste the whole thing? Because I can do that. Yeah, this is from... Because I'm uh, looking at known and prepared spells before uh, a caster can cast a spell. If you have both the spellcasting class feature and pack magic, you uh, 
can use the, 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 you can use the spell uh, to cast ones you know or have prepared from classes with the spell casting class feature. Yeah, this is that's from the. Likewise, drow magic clearly distinguishes the known cantrip from merely castable. It, it, it's what that's what it says in the fee. I should have just pasted the fee. It's what it says right in there. Wait, why is mine different? Oh, this specific feat gives you that. But where'd you get your feat from? That's not a feat, that's a racial feature. Yeah, that's a feat means feature. That's that's a that's a fire genasi trait, that's a feature of Yeah, it's a okay. racial feat. Feet is short for feature. Well, I might have clicked the wrong fire genasi. Regardless. It's all good. I used reduced flame. I clicked anyway. the wrong fire genasi. Apologies. And different options. Well, you have legacy, and then you have the new ones from Bolster Master. Well, yeah, you have mul mul whatever. The multiverse, mm -hmm. and you have uh, elemental evil. Whichever way. The end, yeah. The Sorry to be picky. Um, We're good. I'm cool. I do still need everybody to still roll initiative. That's what we're still... How yeah. Do you... I got me a nice crisp 20. Alright, that is you first as you see these spiders coming out then, Zeke. It's just heavy sigh. <sighs> Can you warn me before you do that? And Maybe next will... time! move up and just uh yeah i'll take a just a couple of uh, good uh slashes at them uh let's just go i'll i'll use my um whatchamacallit longsword um two-handed okay not raging that's a uh what are we? One uh sixteen will hit. Chopping down into these spiders. Just clap down through three of them. Seven slash to the side, another five you sever the legs from their body and they writhe before they die. Not quite reduced to half, but nearly. Mm. Two quick swipes. Is that you? Yes. Sorry. All right, Tom, with the axe. Fucking hate these things. Fucking hate these things. One-handed battle axe. A six. Wildly misses. Um. Okay. Let's just. Let's just. Real quick. Fidna, you've got your bow. Uh, well, yeah, he's gonna sling his bow, and he's gonna go, ah, running, and he's gonna jump over uh, to, um, Stripe's head and jump and start stomping on the bugs. I don't think you can jump over Stripe's oh, head. Okay, uh, he's, well, he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna do an acrobatic flourish to get past him to get into the fight. Yeah, just because the, the tunnel's yeah. roof would not be tall enough for yeah, you as I a big person. So I guess he's gonna swing. You jump like him. over in between him and Zashi. Yeah, that works. Front flip. So yeah, yeah. And then he's gonna just he he's, he slings his bow so he can be unarmed, and he's just gonna start stomping, stomping on on the on the spiders. Fuck yeah! Stomp, stomp. Uh, ah, stupid spiders. Twelve hits. A minutes. five will not. That was twelve. Another stomp, crush another two spiders. They split as your second foot lands. That's it for me. Okay, Zashi. Spiders, you hear more okay. in the tunnel behind you. Behind us? Or further oh, to the, your south. Yeah, you should be able to see stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, she'll look at this one 
right here and be like, I don't like that you're all the way over there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> this might be more fun. This is perfect, actually. Ooh, magic missile. Okay. Oh, Jin's magic missile. Oh, jeez. Let's go. Twisting, whistling, hypoallergenic, gluten-free darts of magical force. Each dart uh, targets a creature of your choice. Okay, uh, a 10 will miss on the first dart. Targeting this one. A 23 will hit. As well as 16. Five and six. And Eleven total damage. Mm -hmm. If the attack roll for any missile... Oh, is a one. Okay. Uh, Eleven damage will split this swarm of spiders in half, bloodying it in a spray of three bolts. One goes high, but the other two slam into it, twisting and ripping apart spiders in sprays of force. Are you good where you are, or do you want to run back away from the spiders? You've moved 15 feet so far. I'm gonna I'm a move 5, 10, 15, over here. Okay. Shuri, you just saw Zashi blast something around the corner and come back sharpish. Okay. Are the swarm of babies like saying anything or are they just screaming? Why don't you please make that immediately as a swarm rushes out, scuttles immediately towards Zashi. 23 is definitely going to hit. Very nice. 5 slashing. Reduce 2, 2. Mm -hmm. It did have to dash to get there, so Panziver will also run up and using her sickle. 28 for 7 plus Jesus okay 25 half is 12 which will bloody this swarm of spiders she cuts a swath of a dozen off of you with a quick just swipe of the sickle the curvedness of the blade allowing her to swipe it first down one arm and then further down your leg clearing half of your body of spiders uh, she gives you a quick kiss on the cheek. Um, spiders did not like you, Shuri. They oh, dash fuck. over and climb upon your body. Um, eeny, meeny, mine. Oh dear. Okay. I hope you guys didn't like Tom that much. Um, the spiders Trust climb me. onto his body and attempt to bite into him they are less than half hp but that is a 16 only two piercing to him he goes ah i'm really hurt i'm so it's hurt miracle to produce flame at him and be like oh i forgot <laughs> zeke your close uh, personal friend tom lone killer is getting got i don't give that much of a shit about tom um <laughs> But I'll sort of just sort of let out another sigh and just sort of take the long sword and just start trying to scrape the spiders off of them. Okay. More like lone kills, Jesus. 14 will hit. For 8, you do kill. No, you do not. I'm sorry. I was looking at Tom's HP. <laughs> uh, uh, killing 4 with the first strike, 18 hits as well. Seven kills, three more. There are still about five spiders crawling across Tom as you slash twice, trying to clear them off of him. I'll just sort of turn to Vedna. You got this one, right? I hope so. I, I'm gonna move around here. Okay. <clears throat> if that's you. 
Tom is screaming. He is swiping. Uh, he doesn't have two weapon fighting, so he can't actually swing with the battle axe and the torch because it's not a late weapon. So he'll just go with the battle axe, which will hit and cleave a single spider off of his body, leaving just the four. Uh, the injured swarm comes around the corner and sees a feast in the form of one big tiger man. Uh, a 22 to bite you, uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. Tiger Man. Okay, we'll that see. is going to be three piercing damage to yes. you. Uh, uh Fidna. Uh, he's gonna Four help. of your five compatriots have spiders on them. Yep. He's gonna help Tom. Okay. So. Punch. Punch. Let's see here. First, he's going to use his second wind. Okay. So D10 plus fighter level. So D10 plus five, right? Yeah. Should be. Unless somebody's cheating. Nice, Max. Fucking Okay. Yeah. Ooh, almost max health again. Nice. And that also gives me what? Uh, it was just temporary hit points. I got just hit points. Okay, cool. So yeah, he bolsters himself, and then he proceeds to start trying to... Uh, Hick spiders. Actually, anything else he can do? Oh, yeah. He's going to uh, uh, squish the bugs with his attacks, but also while he's doing that flurry of blows, or the, he's just punching and you know, squishing bugs, he's going to do a maneuvering strike to uh, aid Tom out. So, punch one. That Mine is going to miss. miss. Second punch with the maneuvering strike. Miss. Six is gonna miss, and that also expends his uh, last or last superiority die. Isn't that the... superiority die only on a hit, like a smite? Oh yeah, yeah, true. It is. My bad. Yeah. No, no it's worries. I just want to save you your resources. Thank you. Uh, so unfortunately, he has burned that. He did not hit. He's like, I'm sorry, man. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Are you good where you are? Uh, uh <laughs> see. So there's another swarm of spiders, right? I don't know. Which, uh, I mean, isn't one of them not biting anybody? No. They're all on somebody right now? Yep. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah, I was going to try to... Ha he, he was going to jump into a spider swarm to give it a target instead of let it jump on somebody else. But that's it. Uh, he is going to, I guess, stab between people to help them out if he can. Okay. That's, okay it. We'll to, that's it. We'll go to Zashi then. Zashi, you got spiders. Okay. So... There's spiders on you. How do you feel? There's spiders on me? Yes, there are spiders Weird. on your body. Ah, got it, I see them. Um, well, it doesn't feel good. Oh, that's weird. Um... Yeah, the oh. thousands of tiny legs. Just let feel... me just... Let me just... Over here? <laughs> okay, you will take an attack of opportunity. But a ten. Wait. wait uh, no. Oh, oh miss, miss step. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I did not see it. You missed. You step away. Bam. The spider falls to the ground in a rain. Um. Actually. Actually, can I just see step right here? Yeah. Awesome. So they would all still drop to the ground, right? Yeah. Period. And then I'm gonna. I can do a cantrip, right? Yep. All right, I'm gonna pretty flame it. Okay, uh, an 11 is going to miss, unfortunately. Ah. Can I reroll that? He's once per session. Do it. Yep. 22 Ooh. hits. We're serving spider barbecue tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I think wizard might be my favorite class. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Wizards are very fun. 
Uh, I assume that's you. Unless you'd like to move. Yep. Cherie! <clears throat> spiders! Spiders everywhere! Uh, shaking them up. Okay. Disengage action. Hell of a lot more nimble damage. <laughs> wow. Got dodge this. roll, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. <laughs> okay, shouting encouragement as you run away. Panziver is going to uh, stab at the spiders in between them and Bidna with advantage. Sickle. Mm -hmm. Kapatao, 23 hits for 10 plus 13, 23, which will be reduced to uh, 11, uh, which will instantly bloody this swarm of spiders, reducing it down to half. And she kind of grits her teeth and then steps into them. Uh, it is their turn, and they they rejoice because of a new target. Uh, a 20 does hit Panaziver for 5 piercing. Uh, Tum gets attacked as well. A 17 will hit for 2 piercing, and my man is alive with 1 HP. Damn. 1 HP in a dream. Uh, Zeke, spiders. Yes, spiders. Um, I am going to ignore the spiders upon me, um, puff out a cloud of smoke to hopefully distract them at least a little bit, and then I will move to defend Panazuba. Okay, uh, less than half HP, a 12 to hit you. Uh, miss. Okay. They start biting them, but fur is too thick. Smoke's too thick as well. Armor defense. Fuck yeah. And then I will sort of bound through just squishing some of the crispy spiders and I will uh, begin attacking at the ones that are on Panzerba. Okay. You have advantage because of Fidna and Pensiver. Nice. So this is a, a long sword for one. 25 hits. For 10 reduced to 5. And the second strike, 17 hits for nine reduced to four. These things, there are just a pair of spiders circling around her boots as she's trying to stomp them and you're trying to chop them, but they're just able to stay away. This one is all, this swarm is all but dead. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Okay, Tom chops with the battle axe. A 13 hits for eight slashing which is exactly enough to kill the last four spiders. Our boy has done it. He lives and he runs the fucking heck away. Uh, uh, uh. Bro, okay, man. you're creepy. Have you done anything yet? Can you heal me, please? Eeny, <laughs> meeny, miny, Zeke. Spiders! They miss you! They come running for you! I just sort of see them crawling up on me and I just kind of blow a couple of them off with the smoke. Hell yeah. Uh, 17 will hit for 6 piercing. Fidna! Two swarms okay. of spiders remain. One is basically dead, the other is just bloodied. Okay, uh, he's gonna punch it. He's gonna... Stomp at the ones killing, uh, attacking a uh, pan, 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 Zavar. Yep, you yeah, get advantage. Pan cool. I'll say the only way to get advantage on a swarm is they have there has to be a person in their square and also on the other side, so you're like hemming them in from multiple directions. 14 will hit. That is enough. You crush the last couple spiders on pandas of her, or, or around her. Okay, One swarm he remains. Moves over here to help put to put him between the swarm and the allies to that side. Put a pole and to then... the arms that is most heavily clustered spiders on it. 
Yeah, and he uh, he will he's going to try to do uh, another maneuvering strike to yeah get his ally out of the spider swarm. Boom! Yeah. Uh. So eight plus ten, so eighteen to half to nine. What does that look like? Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, he shifts. He he pushes. He basically he pushes the uh, Zeke out, and as as Zeke is pushed out suddenly, the spiders are tumbling through the air, and he just pushes it and starts smashing them against the wall. It's really fast. And then he looks over. Did I get him? <laughs> uh, oh, you can see the thumb is like. He he has this large gash on his arm, and as you watch, he's pulling tiny spiders out of this open wound that he has in his arm, and like flinging them to splat against the wall uh, next to you, Cherie. He is on the ground, writhing in pain. You see, one of his legs is like starting to swell up a considerable amount. <clears throat> oh. Hey, hey, he don't look so good. Um, here, h help me out. And he he uh, pulls out some rope from his backpack, and he makes kind of like a he makes a harness out of it. He ties the harness real quick, and he helps Tum uh, into it. And he's like, "Put this on my shoulders, and you can ride me. You can ride me like a backpack, buddy. I'll carry you out." Where? Just don't let any more spiders. Person, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's like short-ish, like five foot, but he's a a whole man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically, Infin is. is What's your himself. strength? He's not that strong. He's only uh, thirteen strength. He's only a little above average. Mm. I don't think you, you can carry a full guy. <laughs> he's offering. You, to. you could like pick him up, but you'll be essentially like overloaded. You'll yeah, be at disadvantage and have yeah. yeah. And okay. Half movement speed. Yeah. He's offering to do that, but. Everyone else may notice, like, hey, you're slowing us down now. So, your call, guys. Just gotta get out. We yeah. Just gotta get out. He helped us get out of the prison, y'all. We gotta help him get out of here. This ain't right. It's not right, but it's okay. <laughs> I can, I can, I can walk. And he like pushes himself up, and he hobbles a couple steps. Uh, on his like bad leg, I just I'll hold the torch and save yeah, the back. Stick stick close to me, buddy. Yeah, you got you got that rope. Just hold on to that and hold on to that rope, okay? I'll keep I'll keep buying it. Okay, so you you've essentially got this rope harness on yourself, and rather than put himself in it, he's like got he's holding it with his uh, using arm. It he's got it like himself, yeah, yeah, essentially using you as a crutch. And now I'm holding my bow and I'm you know just keeping it. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get out of here, guys. Yes, please. I think we got the last of them. What? Also, uh, Sparks, as satisfied as it may be, maybe don't keep kicking spider nests with that fire of yours. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I reckon we don't touch nothing. Just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm keeping. I'm keeping good eye out as best I can. Give yeah. the perception. Yeah, uh, Infinite is all. Fidna is also focusing on just Overwatch and looking for any threats and not getting close to any of that shit. He just wants to get out of here as quick as possible. Okay, Zashi and Zeke are scoping and scanning. As you all progress farther down the tunnel. And, you can uh, see that these two are the empty alcoves that the swarms just came from. I'm still keeping a, a little bit of distance from them, just in case. Yeah. That's totally fair. I respect that. Zeke, as you keep moving forward, you see what appears to be a cairn... Uh, large, almost as tall as you are, stacked in this space uh, in the yeah, center. Sorry, interrupting. Uh, in the center of what appears to be another junction. You can see three other directions 
leading away, uh, not counting the one that you're currently standing in. I'm feeling maybe this way. I'm just sort of taking a quick look at the can. Does it look constructed or coincidental? It looks constructed. You can see, like, the stones don't just, they don't look like they fell out of the ceiling or anything like that. It looks like, not like a pile of rocks, but very deliberately, there is a rock that is large and somewhat flat on the top. And then there's a almost table-like rock and then smaller circular rocks. Not quite snowman-esque, but maybe six rocks total stacked in this cairn. Like smaller and smaller pancake-esque. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe. You can see they're kind of like oblong or, or rectangular a little bit. I'll move up and take a look at it. Okay. It's I'm dusty and old. Hey, Zeke. Any, any spots we could possibly like take just a moment to rest? I mean, I guess. It's just like an hour breather or something. Just because I burned up most of my shit. Yeah, Shuri, you look back and there is a trail of blood from Tum leading back into the darkness. Fuck. Well, I mean, we need to keep moving, but yeah, maybe we can find a spot that's defensible. Or maybe just like an alcove. I don't know. Fuck. I think Tunnel's gonna be as defensible as we get. Zashi, you earlier were trying to determine where the flame was blowing, what direction it was heading. Yes. You can now tell as you're standing here that all three tunnels from behind you are blowing air outwards past you this way. This way? Yes. Got it. The flame flickers sort of in that direction. She'll look over her shoulder like, I feel like we should go this way. I'm not opposed. Zashi, yeah. as you're approaching, you can see a very dark, large alcove. Uh, it's like, it's, it's, uh, rather than, uh, uh, the hole being below, it almost looks like there's a natural shelf that curves up and above it as if something could be positioned just out of your sight. Inside I this alcove. do not like that. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit, and I'm gonna look at everybody, and I'm gonna go. Let's be very quiet here. Cause I really hate when spiders come out of things. It's really gross. So let's just be I'm very old. quiet. Take the torch. Um, the spider webs seem to be like particularly flammable, right? Yeah, I mean, like they don't like catch and burn across. It more melts, almost like water like, and cotton candy, like sort of. Almost? Yeah, uh, but much faster, like yeah. like incredibly thin plastic strips and like yeah. a, a, and a like a flamethrower, you know, like, like it just melts more. and wilts instantly. Yeah, have you ever tried to burn like a cut like a nice yeah. cotton shirt? <laughs> um, yeah, if you'll sort of move past and yeah, that's probably not going to help make a brighter torch. Um, Let's. Yeah. Why don't I get a group stealth check as you guys try and all be quiet? I will include Tom, but I'm also going to include Panzer. So, hey, 14's not bad. Oh my God, Panzer! What the fuck? Panzer turns and like it, she was leaning against the cairn, and the top rock slides off. She goes clack. Um. Okay. Five. Seventeen. Twenty. Fourteen. Eight. Twelve. Pretty big range. Twenty. Average round fifteen, maybe. Fourteen, fifteen. Uh, divided by six. Uh, average of twelve. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I I assume Ready you are go. like pressing yourself to the far wall as far away from it as you can be. Do 
just ee, 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 <laughs> around the edge. Uh, you make it around and nothing seems to come squealing out of the darkness at you. Alright, I'm just sort of keeping low, using my, my foot pads to be quiet. Zashi, as you all make your way past this darkness, why don't you stop moving, Zashi? Uh, yep. Um, you see, crouched in this alcove at the top along the ceiling, a very, very small spider. And normally it wouldn't catch your eye. It's not much bigger than the spiders that form up the swarm, especially alone. They're not dangerous. But what catches your eye is that this spider seems to have an almost horn-like protuberance on the top front of its head, almost like a trumpet. Hmm. You can see that it's squarely resting on the webs, which fill this area here. Oh, God. <laughs> I... <laughs> Some... Video game sense is telling me this is gonna tell all the other spiders, Hey, you guys! So, <laughs> so Hi, you guys. yeah, yeah, very that, very that. <laughs> so what if we <laughs> all attack it at once? <laughs> it's just a tiny spider. I don't, I, I just, our, our stealth and the fact that it's perched up there, I'm very nervous. It would feel better if it was dead. <laughs> I would doubt that it has more than like a couple of hit points. But, yeah, you would think. Yeah, if you want to do it, you got you got to tell us about it. If you want us to do something about it, though, is that the tone that you're speaking in, Zeke? Is it the level of volume no. that you're using? Okay. No, I'm not speaking. Zeke is not speaking at all because he does not know about the spider yet. Because Zashi's not mentioned it. Oh, I thought I assumed that was in character from Zashi. My apologies. Oh yeah, that was that was in character. I just wasn't talking. Like in character, I okay. yeah, I would relay the information I, I, to everybody. I, I heard you talking about video games somehow. I assumed you were not talking in character. Uh -oh. But yeah, uh, then I'll sort of turn around towards the others, see Fidna there, look at him. Weren't you uh, looking after Tom? Yeah, he's right behind me. So funny. We used to call our friend Tom Tum, and it would annoy the shit out of him. <laughs> so I can just I'm just imagining him as this guy. <laughs> uh, sorry, so it's like a trumpet horn rather than like a animal horn. It doesn't look like a beetle, right? No, I mean, it's clearly a spider. It's got eight legs. It's got the no, heart. No, yeah, but I, I mean, like, the horn of a beetle, it comes out of... To no, a it looks it like a trumpet. Like a it looks like it, like there's a... there's Yeah, like, imagine a unicorn horn, but wider, and it's got a hollow space in it. Got it, okay. I think we'll just be right quiet, move on, and if it starts shifting, doing something funny, you <coughs> All right. Sounds like a plan. Are we uh, rolling stealth again? Would you guys like to keep your previous stealth, or would you like to I use the... Like, I feel like we should roll our stealth How about again. this? Why, as each person moves by it, I'll have you all roll stealth. So, Zashi, as you try and sneak through these webs, why don't you roll me a stealth check? Mm -hmm. God, oh, God. Not horrible. You can start Nat 14. Forward. Me also, you also, I would assume you get your light back out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you make it to the other side? 
doesn't seem like anything is has happened. Zeke. Yeah. Almost less trying to hide and more trying to just sort of move past without getting too close to it. Like less hiding and more trying to just not appear to be a threat. Mm. But yeah. Uh, I, I assume it's still stealth. Y yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Not great. Oh dear. Okay. So, Zeke, as you are in the midst of these webs, uh, you hear a click and then a clack, and you look up and you see a small spider creature oh, dear. poke its little head down and look down to you. And it immediately emits a loud hoot that seems to echo back and forth down the walls of the tunnels of this cave and the skittering that you have heard changes rather than rushing in every direction all around you you immediately hear all of the skittering stop and then begin steadily growing louder as spiders come pouring out of holes from all over the map i was tom Yells, run! Yeah, oh, go, time we go, better time. run. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Time to go. It is acceptable to use the inspiration once per session. Or is that too late? Give it to me. All right. Uh, where are we? Stealth. Okay, the, there. this is what happens. There is that clicking and clacking. You see it poke yeah, out. Just freeze. And the web, like, near you, like, waves just so slightly. And you see it reach out a single leg and put it on the web. And the web steadies. And then it pulls back into its hole. And I guess we'll see who sets that off if it happens. I'm looking at Tum. <laughs> or me in about I mean, a hot second. I'm gonna We're gonna off. be running. It's just <laughs> wet. <laughs> Nate got Nate got cucked by his own uh, session session edition. <laughs> That's fine. In that case, definitely yeah. cut cut me off. My apologies. <laughs> yes, no, it's all good. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard to know when to. No, to absolutely, talk. absolutely. <laughs> that was some serious edge play. <laughs> God, that was disgusting. Tr tree, <laughs> absolutely fine. Oh, you haven't even seen disgusting yet, my dear. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I'm gonna have to mute if we go into really nasty territory with the spiders. It will trigger me. <laughs> Sure, you start moving through with the stealth. Mm, crawling, Very crawling. quietly, just move it. Yeah, crawling underneath, right on your hands and knees. It's very okay. eerie because when she does crawl, it's almost like she's done four legged crawl kind of naturally she's, she's a lot. She's been here before. Yeah, she's, she's like, been as like. Very Gollum esque. <laughs> <laughs> Pen Penisniver gives you a confident smile, Fidna, and steps up. And she, she like, cracks her back side to side and immediately goes for, like, a forward handspring, like, a cat burglar breaking into a bank full of lasers uh, style. Yeah, she catches uh, Dead of Jones in Entrapment. With a 16, she is able to, if not as deftly as she had hoped, successfully maneuver through the webs without any trouble. And just to recap, that is Zashi, Zeke, and Cherie's inspiration, right? I still have mine. Oh, you have yours. Fidna used theirs. Okay. Uh, you you want to go or should I? Uh, 
I'll go through and I'll be and I'll give I'll I'll lead out and then the minute you start doing if you have trouble, I'm gonna pull you through and we're gonna haul ass. Okay, you ready? He, he, he like gives it like a jerky nod, but as you go to step forward, he grabs the rope. He says, "Don't you, don't you leave me to these spiders." I ain't gonna leave you, man. You, hear me. you helped us get out. I'm I'm gonna make sure you get out of here. All right. He nods. All right. He puts his hand on his shoulder. We're getting out of here. I'm gonna become a man of God after this. Whatever, man. Fuck that shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. And he uh, moves her to the edge of the corner. Oh, divine. Does. Please guard my steps. He starts praying quietly in the back. Okay, and he, he gets around to where he, he knows that he's pretty safe. And he's got a good grip. He slings his bow and he gets got both hands on the rope and he's holding it taut so that um, Tom knows that he's got on it and he's just watching him. Okay. Why did you move all the way through here? Because the rope is more than long enough to put <clears> him. <throat> Alrighty, everybody sure ready? Too. Hold your breath. Goodbye. Yeah, he's making himself visible too. Would anyone like to donate their once per session? I could. <laughs> Would anyone it's specifically the one person? Le no? Okay. <laughs> As Tom starts moving through. His swollen leg gets caught on one of the <laughs> webs uh, that block the path. And as he stumbles, you hear the questioning hoot that I described before, followed up by the warning trumpet of the sounding alarm that Whoa. echoed around you all before. Give me an athletics as you hear this happen for to pull Tom forward. Yeah, you drag him all the way to you uh and he lands on the ground and once again as the loud hoot goes off run! oh but <laughs> as this is happening would i be able to notice which direction right now the the, the flame is blowing yes it is blowing this way where mm. Okay, I need to do some stuff. Give me one moment. Giant spider. Holler spider. Spider. Spider, spider. Spider, 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 spider. Spider. The slider. A spider. I should have put these spiders into groups before. I apologize. Mm. It's all right. It's cool, bro. We'll be telling. We'll be talking shit about you behind your back later, though. I'm aware. I know. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe Roxy, but I mean, you're cool. <laughs> But I mean, that's isn't that kind of your thing, though, Rocky? You just love talking shit with the best. You, you're the roast queen. I'll be right back then, since he has. Am I the roast queen or am I just a fucking cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! See, roast queen. <laughs> spider, 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 spider. Yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm from California, so I'm pretty chill from that. But also, I was in the southeast for over 30 years, and I'm terrible at clapbacks. I'm just not, I'm not that short and clippy. <laughs> okay, let's start rolling some initiatives. Uh, those ones have all rolled. That one. These ones. These ones. Something tells me there are a lot of spiders. What? Oh, yeah. You you sound crazy. What you said? You sound like a crazy person. Um. Alrighty, righty, 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 bro. Alrighty then. That's probably fine. I don't need to roll for every single spider in here. 
Um, okay. You see, uh, behind you and before you, from alcoves posted high up on the wall, several holler spiders, uh, creep out and begin crawling across the walls towards you all. Um... I need to grab uh, initiative for Zush. Oh, Zashi is not in the initiative. Ooh, I thought I rolled Safari. You probably okay. did before, and uh, did not. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, uh, you 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 did not click your token. I'll give you the nineteen point one. Thank you. Wait, I clicked and it. What the fuck? Not that it'll matter for long, but we also don't have one for Tom. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done our NPCs yet. There we go. Nineteen point one. Tom dum, and dum, Panazibur. Tom. Tom with the two. Mm. I'm sorry, Tom. Narratively, it's telling us you're gonna die. Like, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to be left behind. <laughs> you wear the red shirt the whole time. No, uh, literally. Almost derisively from behind you, uh, Fidna, this holler spider from the ceiling of the cave hoots at you. Uh, 15 to hit you. Uh, that will just hit me. Okay, a blast of thunder hits you for Jesus for five thunder damage. Heard. Uh, Zeke. Ow. One is gonna hoot at you. The other is gonna bite. All right. Uh, a six will miss on the hoot, but a fourteen will hit on the bite for also five piercing. Um, there is a crackle and a hiss of static electricity from, uh, this tunnel mm. here. And you watch as a spider hovers across your and into your vision, floating on an electric web. As it hits the wall, it scuttles down and moves 20 feet towards you. What the fuck? There's a dash. These are the ones that have the uh, glowing blue bands that stripe across them, and they seem to crackle with electricity. Zeke! Zashi was pointing down this way. All right. Next yeah. time to run. Uh, all right. Come along. And, yeah, I will move. Uh... To there, and then another fifteen to there. Did you? Uh, and that you did not disengage, right? No, I did not. Okay, holler spider gets to bite at you. That's a nineteen. Yeah. That'll be six piercing damage to you, and you can okay. see two streams of spider uh, swarms making their way out of an alcove down here. Is that you? Uh, no, I'm dashing. Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Another twenty. And five. What's your speed? Forty-five. Jesus. Plus ten from barbarian. Plus five, probably in there. Jesus, fast as fuck, boy. Okay, Zeke just takes off and he's gone. Zashi. And Zashi's gonna. Do the goddamn same. Misty step over this holler spider. Smart. Um. Oh wait. Right there. Got it. Did I get it? Is that right? Yeah. And then I can action dash. Yes. So a further sixty feet. Yes. You can do it in segments. Thirty-five there. <laughs> 25 more. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Is that you? Hi, Zeke. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Okay. You all hear a much heavier thudding uh, coming from 
this tunnel here. Oh boy. As the heavy clacks and foot paws of something moves through the darkness with prodigious speed. Uh, it's time for the Blue Man group to perform. <laughs> uh, giant Spider. Four spiders for giant spider. Okay. Uh, Zeke and uh, Zashi, you also hear the thundering, heavier footsteps from farther down the tunnel. You guys are both running south in. Ooh. Ew. Yeah, it's super, super nice, right? Everybody's really enjoying the spiders, right? Oh, it's a real quick as I'm running with my head around the woods. Hey, hey Nate, uh, do I, I hear any? Does Fidna uh, hear any words from the spiders? That's because there's a lot of them now. Uh, you heard the shriek of the holler spider was uh, a cry of intruders, and most of the other shrieks are food. Okay, yeah. There's no argue. There's no. There's no. There's no diplomacy, unfortunately. It's mm -hmm. just time to run. Feeding frenzy. <laughs> uh, Zashi and Zeke, spiders do surround your feet. Alrighty. Fidna, uh, you're not in melee range with this spider. Yeah. It is up on the ceiling. He is, unfortunately, he's not gonna look at Tom. He's just gonna, he's gotta do, he's got the, he's fight or flight now. He mm -hmm. can't be, he can't be, uh, being kind anymore he's got to survive so he's going to dash okay so man the way this is going uh oh uh, I have a prediction bye Tom <laughs> That's as far as I can run. Okay. And anyway, he doesn't have any light either because he left his sword behind. Okay, so you just run into the darkness. Yeah, I ran in the direction of the allies ran. Okay. Uh, you do take an attack of opportunity as you run by the holler spider. Or no, you run by the one that already used its reaction. Yep. Okay. He just, he just books it. <laughs> The rope trailing behind him and just sneak it, it probably sneaked past them, Tom's hand. He's like, what? <laughs> uh a swarm of four giant spiders come crawling out of this tunnel. Mandibles spread, dripping venom, but they all had to dash to get there. Uh Panzer, bonus action disengage, action dash. Uh, there's a small breath of wind as Panzerver whooshes by you. Uh, Fidna, you see her back appear in the light here being cast by uh, Zashi that you can't see her. Cherie! I'm gonna cast a knowing glance at Tum and just smile at him as I start to run into the darkness. No, don't! No, don't! Come back! No, wait! Five, full dash again. There we are. Okay, you run, you hear Tom come a running after you. With his action to dash, he's able to make it to there, the light coming past you, Fidna. <laughs> and then we'll go to the holler spiders. How far do they get to move on a turn? 25 feet. Uh, 
Uh, okay. These two holler spiders are able to get in range of Fidna. This one had to dash to get where it is. It is in melee range of you on the wall, though, Fidna. Um, we're gonna go for... This first one's just gonna hoot at Fidna. A 21 to hit you. Hit. Uh, it's gonna be 8 thunder damage. Woof Oof. Uh, and this one's gonna roll between Tom and Pan. That's a 1, that's a Tom. Hoot! That's an 8! Which sails over Tom and cracks into the wall. There's a shattering of stone. Uh, <laughs> balloon spiders. God. If Tom survives this, he's got to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> if Tom survives this, he's gonna become he's gonna become a nemesis for us and be super pissed. Zeke. All right. Respect Billy Sparks. I'm gonna trust you have this. How much more proof of magic you got? Um. Uh. I've, I've still got I've still got plenty plenty on my plenty in my pocket. Got some spell slots remaining, etc. And then I will bolt. Okay, you get an attack of opportunity from the swarm. Twenty-two. Yes. Uh, ten piercing damage. You run, you do pass with a giant spider which waves its legs at you threateningly. Way back at it and run. <laughs> uh, and which way uh, feels more outward? Can I see light coming from this? Oh direction? yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You can actually see outwards in what looks like to be a carved set of stone steps set into the side of what it, uh, is a shallow cliff face. All right, uh, in which case I am going to uh, dash and I will drop uh, I will drop the torch here um, so that it is clear that this is the, re the direction to be going. Okay. Um, you take away your light. I just put the torch down. Yeah. Um, and then bolt out into, into the light. Okay. Is that you? Uh, yes. Zashi, you are also oh have spiders. I don't like those. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna provoke. I know I'll provoke an yep. opportunity attack. Nine misses. Okay. Um, I can only hit Zeke with the swarms. <laughs> Zeke and Tom say, only. You haven't hit me once. It's fucking <laughs> bullshit. I'm gonna get you with these spiders. No, it's I hate them. I am here to trigger you. Let me will, eat you with spiders. I will, of course, also wave as I walk by. Okay. As I run by. But okay. that's my turn. Okay. Dwarfing the other spiders. Cherie, for the first time, you see a mammoth sized spider filling the walls pulling itself forward on its front legs and propelling itself from behind on its uh, behind legs its limbs are each as thick around as a young tree as they slam down around tom and panaziver this is the thing causing that those thunderous hits um it had to move here and it had to dash but it is blocking much of Fidna's passage forward and a great deal of the light in this area. All right, Team Blue. Giant spider. This fuck. What? Tom's gonna live, and Fidna's gonna die, watch. There's no earthly way. <laughs> uh, Sashi, this giant spider that you waved at, you are close enough to get bitten by it. I don't know if you're here, but god <clears throat> fucking, does an 11 hit, Sashi? <laughs> I don't think that hit her at all. 
I don't think that hits oh, I think she left. Uh, let's see. Let's pop the character sheet. Ooh, an 11 will hit. No. Ooh, got the wizard without mage armor. Ha ha. Um, since she's Did not here, not I'll just... Mage armor nope. Mm. Um, six piercing damage and a con save from her, which I will roll. Of an eight, so that's gonna be nine poison damage. So fifteen total to Zashi. Yes, I think you listen. Yes, I believe she took tough. Smart. <laughs> Unlike my wizard, you had. <laughs> Uh, Zeke, you now also see climbing <laughs> on the wall of this larger tunnel uh, towards the exterior another mammoth spider. All right. And we're doing exactly what's in the picture. <laughs> Fucking yes. run! Run away! <laughs> run away! Run away! Now the question is. Fidna. Do I try and help? <laughs> help and die or run and survive? It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna have two attacks of opportunity against me. Or you can but... just gauge. Yeah, but then I can only run 30 feet and then I'll have attacks. Hmm. Attacks now yeah, or gonna... attacks later? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna boat. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dash again. Take two attacks of opportunity. Okay, uh, let's do the holler spider first. It bites you, 18. That's that hits. a rather large spider. Three piercing. By the way, Zashi, you got uh, a bit by this spider here. It rolled an 11. Work, I did, uh, that does hit. Okay, I already took the damage for you. And, Thank uh, you. You took 15 damage. Gross. Yes. Um, three piercing damage from the spider here, Fidna. Okay. As you keep moving, the mammoth spider <laughs> Uh, it'll claw at you, let's say. Oh, that's a crit fail. Cool. You cannot end your movement there. That is Cherie's space. I know, I know. I'm still moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> Action yeah. dash. Yeah. Okay, three points of, slam of, of, of slashing damage or piercing damage? Piercing. Okay. If that's you. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Red team. Go, 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 go. Enemy at yeah, the door. Yeah, the rabbit didn't make any noise as he dashed past. He just, he just, he didn't make noise. He just was booking it. Soft little pitter patters. Uh, Panzer gives a sad smile to Tom. Disengage bonus action. Action dash. <laughs> Rough. Rogues, man. Love him. Runs down the tunnel. I mean, Shuri, it's you and Tom back here once again. I'm still glancing back at him with a smile. Mm. Good so um, far. Hope you make it. There was a diegetic need for you to mm. to kick the bucket. Twenty-five and then thirty-five. Fully getting it. If Tom's arrives, we have to keep it proper. <laughs> Full dash. Twenty. Thirty-five, just to see. Yep. Oh. Figure that's a dead end. Uh, you don't know, but it is a side tunnel. You dip into. Alright, if that's you. Yeah, that's fully me. Okay, Tom. Ha. Huh. He would disengage, because he values his life. And keep running down the tunnel. He says, shoot it! It's behind me! Shoot it! gonna hoot at him and knock him out <laughs> yeah he is in range of 
one hoot at disadvantage and one hoot at regular. Let's see the disadvantage one first. That's a nine, which will miss. Uh, second one is a 13, which will strike Tom oh, in the no. back. And you see his already weak leg crack and he tumbles and falls and he yells in pain. And then his head hits another rock and you see his face goes slack and his jaw walls open. And he <laughs> lies on the ground unconscious, dying from thunder damage. Zeke, faced with two right. spiders. One's on the ground, one's on the wall. I do need a crew. But how badly do I need a crew? Can one of y'all call high or low and then I'll roll? I mean, you, you, you do your, do your characters. Yeah. Decisions must be made. Right. I'm gonna use my rage. I'm gonna get my teeth out. Ooh, okay. And I'm gonna leap upon this big spider. And I will do my best to a bite a chunk out of it. Yeah. Uh, 14 is not going to hit. Uh, this thing's tough, hard, hairy exoskeleton rebuffs your teeth. I will do so again. Okay. Oh, it's bad. And 8 is not going to do it. You engage the spider, but the giant mammoth spider is quite a, uh, uh, danger. It's just very difficult to get my teeth through that carapace. Mm -hmm. We'll go to Zashi. Okie go. Um... You can see the outside world. Zeke is there. Where's Zeke at? Standing yeah. in it. Uh, I don't know. Can you see? Good enough. Yeah. Mm, hard to say. See okay, the big ass spider. Three, the three large spiders, north, east, and south of me. Yeah. I'm gonna Jim's magic missile them. Okay, you do have disadvantage because you're making oh, ranged spell attacks. So a twenty will hit this first one. Roll the disadvantage for the other two. The twenty does hit on that first one. Okay. Oh, let me. Next one, I will. Uh, 15 will hit this one. Uh, and an 11 will, will miss hit. this one. Yeah, oh, 11, so roll right. damage for the first two. Word. That's really Three force roll. damage <laughs> on this north one, and six damage on this one here. Blast them each with a twirling green magic. And that's, uh, I guess I'll... Hmm. Hmm. I'll just stay here. Okay. Clomp, clomp, clomp down the tunnel. Fidna, you turn back and see the prone form of Tom being picked up by the mammoth spider and being slowly spun as webs start to coat his body and you see like his eyelid falls open and though he's unconscious he is still alive as this is happening to him spiders 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 uh Zashi, you're going to get two attacks from giant spiders this turn. A bite at 16 and a bite at 11. Both of those hit. I got fed up with not hitting you. Four yeah, piercing damage from the first and eight piercing damage from the second. So that's 12 total. And then I need two con saves. Okay. Wow. 
Fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, on top of the 12, it's go you're going to take half, so 2 plus 5 is 7 more. Mammoth Spider is going to uh, try and web you first at disadvantage because you're in melee range, uh, uh, Zeke, so a 10 will miss. Yep. It then tries to claw at you at normal. That's a 20. Definitely hurts. Okay, that's going to be 10 bludgeoning, reduced to 5. Yes. And then it tries to bite you, but a 12 misses. Yeah. I'm just patting bloody chunks of fur missing. The swarms of spiders grow thicker around you all. Fidna, it is getting hairy at that entrance down there. You got a, a fireball or something there, Zash? <laughs> We gotta fight through that entrance way to get our friends out, our, 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 our partner's coverage. Right, Panda Zephyr? Shockingly, she doesn't answer. Yeah. I know everyone's surprised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready. Gonna Play focus this. on this one. He looks over to Panda Zephyr and he points up close to the spider. And he opens up on that one with both of his arrows. Okay. Fourteen hits. That says a fifteen. For Twelve damage total. And that's okay, done. you more than bloody this giant spider. This one looked a little bit smaller than its compatriots somehow. <clears throat> as if the DM randomizes uh, PC, NPC HP. Um, this one is nearly dead point. from those two shots. It only seems that way. Mm -hmm. um, is that you? That's Bonus it for action. me. Okay. Uh, red team. Giant spiders. Giant spiders. They're coming. Panziver will run forward, give a quick slash at this thing with advantage. Uh, 22 hits, and she'll do 10, but preserve her sneak attack. As she keeps moving forward. Oh, she can't quite make it. Um, okay, rather than keep moving, she'll shoot this one with her hand crossbow in her opposite hand. Oh, a 10 is, ju is gonna miss, unfortunately. She'll move here to back up Zashi, but her shot goes wide. And she goes wide right there. Sheree. Alright. Scooting forward. Hmm. I'll take a disengage action. Okay. Actually. Hmm. Can I see something on your sheet real quick? Am I gonna mess you up if I look? If I sw swap no, around go your for feet? it. Okay, let me just look at something real quick. Um, Cherie, as you are looking forward, wishing that you had anything to try and fight these creatures off, you feel like a warmth trickling down from your pocket. The bloody rags that you were trying to use to help Tom dripping down your hand and as you look down you see that they are 
not crystallizing, but congealing. And a sword, a blade of shadow wreath blood is seeming to form in your hand without your own volition. Definitely. Feeling... No action on your part. A touch confused by this. I assume it feels light and nimble. Yeah. It's... it... it feels like an extension of your arm. The grip is comfortable, slightly warm, almost body temp. Not cold like you'd expect a shadow to be. I am going to... You can still do whatever you would like to do on your turn. I just would like to know that that happens to you. You've never experienced anything like that before. Going to give it a test. See if it is more than an illusion. Move up to here and going for the red swarm immediately to the right there. Okay. Um, do you, as a reminder, the swarms can't. Uh, I know. Well, that works anyway for the initial attack because I had made up. Yeah, the... you slice down into it. Why don't you just manually roll damage? Let me double check what that is. 2d8. 2d8. Very nice. Psychic. Ooh. A small amount but slash outwards and as you stretch it seems to cover these spiders and they just all as a whole curl and die i like this weapon that is me okay Zeke, the skittering of spiders is deafening All inside right. the tunnel. It is echoing. Um, at this point, you ha are fighting these two spiders, and though this spider would have a better chance of hurting you if it got behind you, it seems unwilling to enter the sunlight. All right. Um, this is your second round. You can tell them. Yes, sir. Yeah. As a bonus action. Uh, let out my blunted roar. Ooh. As a, yeah, deafening roar echoes through the caves. Probably knocks a few rocks loose, um, and I will attempt to frighten these two spoodish. <laughs> and that is DC 14. Yeah, 14. Wisdom? Both. For both. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the, this smaller one is actually going to succeed, but the large <laughs> one is going to rear back in fear. I will just sort of roar at it and get it in its face. And, Hell yeah. Um, How long does that last? Yeah. Can you give me the text? Uh, it's until the... Uh, until the end of my next turn. Sexual. Yeah. Um, and I'll sort of turn and just sort of like... As the thing goes up, turn and the sort of light reflecting in our eyes. Uh, and... Um, I got this. Hello. You're there? Zish? Did I miss anything? I'm sorry, I've been out for like a couple minutes. Oh, shit. My... Internet coming in and out. Zeke, Zeke make big roar, scare big spider, turn to you, go, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Give us a nod. 
Uh, and then he is going to, uh, yeah, disengage and step out into the light. Okay. And just sort of breathe heavily. All right. Look out over, presumably, uh, towards a glassy ocean off in the distance. I will describe what you see once everybody's there. All right. Uh, Zashi. Um, but, alright, I'm gonna witch bolt this guy at disadvantage. Yes. Right? Yes. Fuck. Uh, seven is not gonna do it. Alright, well, uh, and. The rock and hard place are getting closer together. Good where you are. I'm just gonna fucking turn for it. Okay. Attack of opportunity from the spider. Uh, bite to 22 will hit. Yep. Five piercing and a con save versus poison. Okay. 17 saves, you only take four poison. If that's you. Yep. From the tunnel. Fitna. A gigantic spider comes tearing out faster than the uh, the spiders bef the small much smaller spiders before it to again fully block and fill this northern passageway, <sighs> getting right into your face. However, it still had to dash to get there. Um Spider will step here, spider will step here for snacks. Spider will get here and can't see past his friend. Is that all the blue spiders? Oh yeah, one of them's dead. Okay, giant spider rolls. Um, one bite attack against Zashi. A three misses. One bite attack against Shuri. A twenty. <laughs> that is gonna be five piercing, and I need a con save versus poison. I will use my once per for that because I'm pretty sure that's a failure. Uh, you may use it if you so wish. Much better. 22 definitely succeeds. And that was... Uh, 5 piercing, and if you half it, then 5 poison, so 10 total. Alright. Mammoth spider. Uh, it is very angry at you still, uh, Zeke, but it is quite frightened of you. It yeah. does make an abortive attempt to step out, uh, like skitters forward slightly and then uh, uh, comes back. It will shoot a web at you. Oh wait, it has to recharge its web. It rolls a one, it does not recharge its web. Uh, because it is still frightened of you, it will make, uh, no Josh, you're right. Um, it will make two attacks at disadvantage against Zashi. So that is a crit fail and a 10 to hit Zashi. Miss, miss. Does a 10 hit you? It's an 11, Zashi? I think. I think, it, I think it does. We may have lost Zashi again. I think she had I thought she was 11. 11. I thought she had 11. I think it was 11. Uh, let's check, let me check it. Let's see. Uh, dex of 10, no armor, 10 AC. Oh, damn. So a 10 will meet and beat for God, 12 slashing damage. Putting Zashi on death's very door. As the spider swarms, swarm closer. Hannah Ziver is gonna get attacked by the swarms of spiders for a 21 to hit, for, t ugh, for 10 piercing to Pan. Fidna! He it's once again not, gotten complicated down there. Yeah, he, uh, he's not staying. He's gonna. He, there's no fight here. If he can't fight, he's gonna die if he stays. He's gonna dash. So. <clears throat> Second. Oh, I did not mean to delete my token. Uh, 
I got you. Some reason why. There we go. Bing, bing. Yep. Sixty feet. Whatever. So I it is. It is. You do still have to deal with the difficult terrain of moving through an enemy space. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're, so I don't think you're able to get your full 60. Okay, so where would I be? So let's see. Uh, so 10 feet normal to here. This would be 35 feet here. Uh, swarms don't provoke. Uh, so you're at 50 feet here, and you don't actually have enough movement to get through the spider. So you end up right uh, in uh, in this in either of the squares. Uh, near Zashi. You can end up right here or right here. I'll stop where the swarm is to give them bait so they don't attack Zashi. Okay. Good. Zashi looks like they're about to die. Alright. Spider, spider, me. spider. Okay. Panziver. Disengage from the spiders as a bonus action. Five. Dash is a main action to get here, outside of the tunnel. Cherie, there are spiders all around. So that fully drops off here? Or that's the way out? That's the way out. You should be able to see out there. It should be right. late. Let's just double check. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't able to. Yeah, we'll go for a dash. Oh dear, okay. Or, hmm, Oh wait, yeah. I need to roll a bunch of, hold on. Oh no, she she disengaged. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm gonna disengage. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna disengage. Okay. You can move here around this one. I will do exactly that then. And... Can I grab Zashi? No, you're not strong enough. You're not big enough, you're not strong enough. You don't have enough action to do so. Fair enough. Not to disengage, effectively. That's like a, a 20. Which should get you just on the other side of that spider. Through there. Okay, that works because it's up on the wall to fit. Oh, fucking righty. Is that you? Unfortunately. But I'm out of sight of the danger tutor. Okay. Zeke, you did not attack last turn. You are... And you did not did take, take damage. damage. I got hit by one. Sense your light. Yes. Uh, on your... I can't even read that. Because you, last turn you disengaged, so there's no opportunity attack. And then Especially in between your yeah. in between your turn, it shot a web at you. Yeah. Oh no, it didn't even recharge its web. Yeah. So yeah, so no, you were no I'm longer not. raging at the start of this turn. Yeah. Uh, I have been seeing the entire situation just real quick. Rigging up my crap one thought and I'm going to just sort of step forward, running toss uh, towards Zashi, and yeah, if. It hooks into her, right? If she grabs it, right. But one of the two, and I'm going to essentially, if I can, try and hold an action or do whatever I can to essentially just yank her out of the tunnel with that rope. Yeah, I mean, you can give me some, give me just the straight dex to try and throw it to her. You do know that she does. She should be able to teleport out. Zeke's not thinking about that right now. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I don't. I don't um, have any more spell slots for that anyway. Yes. Yes, you do. You have uh, third-level spell slots. Wait, what? You can you can cast low-level spells using high-level slots. Oh, I did not know that. Um, either way, I, either way, he's throwing it in. Um, and Dex check. Would it be acceptable to make a strength because you can make strength throwing a check? So, 
Not for an improvised weapon. Dex. All right. So, just Dex. Uh, with an 11, you throw it. It doesn't make it all the way to Zashi, but it lies on the ground. Zashi could, like, yeah. lean forward and, and very easily, yeah. uh, as a bonus action, grab it on their turn. But it doesn't, like, land in her hand. Yeah. And I'm able to hold an action or something to yank. Whatever yeah. <laughs> yeah. To see however well that goes. Yeah. Um, okay. You wrap the rope around and prepare to pull mightily. Zashi! Can I object interaction that rope and hand it to Anifera? Uh yeah sure. All right, I hand it to I hand it to, him, and then I, I, I um, mage or misty step out. Fuck yes. Third level misty step. Which I would have, would have done a while ago. <laughs> well, I'm glad you still had one. Well, I have plenty. Okay, you get out. Right. You turn around. You still have your action if you want it. Um. I'm this... good. Okay. Uh, mammoth spider up here. Boom, boom, boom. It does get within range of you, Fidna. Uh, one quick question. He said he Answer. he said he was holding an action to pull this rope when someone was holding it. The rope was given to me, so I'm holding it now. Could he have pulled it as a reaction to that? Yes, actually. I was expecting Zashi to. <clears throat> I don't know why I was gonna wait till your turn, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So yeah. So so Zashi hands Fitness the rope. He's like, "What? What? What the fuck is this?" And when he grips it, that's when that's when uh, uh, he goes. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe she can do that. Oh no. Okay then, your call. Um, he looks at you, and you're looking actually all right as far as health goes. Okay. And still up in there, so six is. Uh, Zeke says, Nuh-uh, you're plenty fine. Wait for Twix. Alright. He looks really, he looks, he, he's got that puss in boots, his ear, when the one ear lop, the one lop ear looks extra loppy, and his eyes kind of look really doe-eyed. Okay. So you forego your prepared action. Uh, I'm uh, still holding onto it for, um, if, yeah, uh, Cherie okay. is under the spider over here. Yeah, if Cherie can grab onto it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Mammoth Spider. Bite. 11, Fidna. Miss. Claw. 20. Hit. 21 slashing damage. Ow. Finally, <laughs> decent damage on the claw attack for I'm Mammoth Spider. I'm at six hit points. Fidna is not that scratch, that, that tear tore his other armor open, and his torso is opened up. He's, his guts are almost showing now. He's like, Ugh. I mean, wouldn't I, I feel like now you might want to yank on that rope. <laughs> Potentially. I'll, I'll say Zeke will yell out. Uh, Zeke will yell out. You alright there, little piggy? You hear out of the tunnel, fuck you! <laughs> I ain't yanking the rope then. Okay. Uh, this spider's gonna attack Cherie. Giant spider. Twenty to bite you, Cherie. Oh, of course. Uh, eleven piercing and a con save. Oh, this is gonna fucking eat me. 17 will save. You will take half, so four. Uh, the other spiders are all blocked. Um, let's see if this one recharges a web. It does not. Mammoth spider. Uh, it's no longer f a feared, right? Uh, yeah, that stopped at the end of my last turn. Excellent. Um, it is close enough to try and bite Cherie. A 12. Just misses. Okay, and then it will claw Fidna with advantage. And that is a 26. That hits. 23 slashing. He is down. Okay. Yeah, pierced him down. Like the uh, bugs in um, Star Troopers just stabbed him into the, stabbed into the dirt. Okay. Uh, the swarm of spiders that are around <clears throat> you. We'll try and bite you. 
advantage on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, instead of a 12, then a 15. That hits. Okay, mark two death saves. It is your turn. And he... Dies. Work. <laughs> Pretty hefty spider encounter, Bebs. Yeah, there was a great opportunity for everybody to survive, but your party member chose not to. I can't um, fucking put that on me. That could have been a fucking flat I, shit. I did not. <laughs> I did not. It is your turn, Shuri. Uh, I am full disengaging and getting my ass out of here with that tasty 35 movement. We're hustling. All right, uh, you all are able to s escape the spider tunnel and make your way down as webs spew out of the natural cave covering the entrance uh, and almost sealing it behind you. Hmm. Bro. As you look out, you can see that you are on a plateau overlooking the dead forest the northern side of the ca of the prison that you all have just escaped from. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Fuck. Thank you for running. Of course. Yeah. Uh happy to. Um I feel like this is a great time to talk about parties working together. Uh, it seems unnecessary to single out specific characters because then we get situations like this. Mm -hmm. And I know we've all talked about like where people are fine having their characters die, but I know I'm kind of feeling weird about how that went down. Yeah, I was trying to find a way to make it work for for Zeke to, well, to pull the... over. The the end at the end of the day, a D and D character has to be willing to work with others. Yeah. This person was in jail with Vidna for years, and that was yeah. the decision you made, and it seems weird. That said, I'm going to let it stand, and you and I are going to talk about stuff later, Brandon, because uh, I have ideas already. I'm okay with how he died. Um, honestly, I feel like that was in character for everybody. I mean, it's, yeah, I it's don't jarring. really see anything out of character. I'm not saying yeah. that it is I out of character. Really, I'm saying it was really hard encounter. There yeah, was it was a, a rough encounter. Enemies. It was a lot like, of that shit going on. Honestly, I don't think. I also don't think that Sam thought that you interfere with no, I, die I didn't, next round. Yeah, I didn't realize quite how much damage that was going to happen, and I did also, um, just in case, was kind of like, hey. Uh, if it, yeah, I do feel pretty bad about it. Don't feel bad about it. Yeah. One, right? Yeah. One, one. I... That character has an eight intelligence. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Two, yeah. we're terrified, running for our lives. We know that we're being surrounded. We didn't realize how bad the mammoths were. We didn't realize oh. until they finally got a good hit on us. 20, 26 hit points. Yeah. What? <laughs> also, yeah. Also, you have been in prison calling him Piggy for however many years. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be friends. Doesn't no. necessarily mean he's gonna save them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If I, also, I could have gotten pulled out if I if I paid homage and actually just said okay, instead of yeah. saying fuck you. But no, that, that, that's not that how interfere rolls, man. He's not gonna. <laughs> okay. All, I just it, I I feel up. like it. I I feel like I as the DM should to table that discussion. So so long as everybody feels that way, I'm glad to hear it. I do not feel. In yeah. any particular we're, way, we, I just adults. that seemed an important point to discuss in this <laughs> our second session. It was it was it was a crescendo, but I think it was it, it played out it played out well. It definitely hit hard. But it, well, it and we know Brandon loves to make a new character. Mm. If Brandon likes to do one thing, it's make a new character. <laughs> I mean, I hardly ever get to play them sometimes. So. Exactly. So. I want you to know, Josh. I heard in your head, in my head, your voice saying, "Well, Nate doesn't coup de gras, so 
it makes his combat a less a little less deadly. And I went, these are spiders. They don't give yeah. a fuck. <laughs> They're gonna bite. I was. I was. I'm glad to push yeah. that right you over even, the cliff. Oh. The little boulder in your mind is like, yeah. yes. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. How does it feel? <laughs> let me let me get uh, XP. I'll post it for you, Zashi, for hey. stuff. <gasps> hey, mate, mate. Yo. Uh, you sh you should start keeping a tally of characters you've killed. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I I probably could collate one from all because I I separate out the dead characters when I kill them. Uh, so that I have the character sheets. I will I, say... I was... Yes, sorry. I, no, you're good. I was gonna say that, um... I personally, and also probably Zeke himself, uh, didn't realize that Cherie was under that other spider and thought she was further back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. She was okay. wedged I, in there between the, the mammoth and the big fucking spider. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 com the, the combat, the, the way the map laid out was actually good for visibility. It actually made it so that he didn't understand what was going on. And, you know, even if he just surrounded a spider, he's not going to be like, I can't, you know, all right. It's like, it's, you can't communicate like that. It's like you're surrounded. <laughs> you're just trying to get, get the fuck out. Yeah. So. All right, thank you for running. I'm gonna. Of course. Mm -hmm. oh, Hope was not too nice. too heavy. So, uh, how many people's hair do you think I touched this session? Oh. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Also, uh, backstory wise, Inafina has got a little bit of relationship. Had a little bit of relationship with uh, character Sorry. with Shari. <laughs> Uh, so he he's already okay. He's fine with it, and he knows that she wasn't like fucking with him. Just she was weird. As long as you didn't, as long as you didn't like get violent with her, she wasn't gonna hurt you. As long as you, you know, if you're dead already, it doesn't matter anyways. So. You guys are at at flat six thousand five hundred XP right now, right? Should be. Uh, okay. uh, I wasn't sure if I gave you XP last game. No, you didn't. Okay. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, we didn't. You didn't say what we were at level. Good. Can we survive two I'm, mammoth spiders? I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're sixth level after that. Hopefully. Because goddamn, that was a. That yeah. Was a, it's definitely. gonna be so awkward trying to explain to Zeke like I don't have magic, and then like walks out with a shadow blade from the cave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A shadow, a shadow yeah this blade is made from uh, Tom's blood. This is actually an iteration on a encounter that I ran when I was. Uh, DM for the very first time I had the players go through essentially a dream sequence at the start of the game where they were essentially fighting undead that just kept coming and it turned into like a, a wave of just bones and flesh that overcame them so I decided to just fill out spiders and just pull put them in the places where they would be and if the holler spiders go off they're just like not every spider in here came running but you know it would have been bad if they did like more than half of the curious, remaining ones did i was curious is if we kill a holler spider does it have a chance to holler before it dies i guess that's uh, information that you may want to keep yeah yeah hard to say Why is my roll twenty being weird? Um, yeah. yes. Thank, thank, enjoy, good time. Yes. Very good times. I almost made it out. I was this close. I was right at the door, and yeah. then the spider just went. Oh. If only you had your jump. I mean, I didn't get a chance to rest. It's true. If I had, you submitted. Nope, <laughs> never. That's Inafina's one line he will not cross. Yeah. He does not submit. That's his one thing. That's why he got to prison because he wouldn't fucking. When they said yeah. do this, he's like, no, fuck you. Hey, no. Every time it would, level is so it would escalate every single time. He's like, do this, no, oh, fuck the you. XP pool. Doom, doom, doom. And then of course yeah. it's room and irons, and then he went to prison because it, every time they say do this, he's like, no, fuck you. And it's like <laughs> they kick his ass. No, fuck you. <laughs> they don't like that. I'll boost it up even a little bit more. Let's we'll give you guys all two thousand XP. 
Nice. Which puts you at 8,500. I love boosters. Does that make us six? No. No, okay. uh, six level is 14,000. Oh, I'm sad. The jump, that's what I said, the jump from fifth to sixth is crazy. Like, even if you killed every single spider in here, you wouldn't have gotten there just on XP values. Jesus. That, that's why I don't do XP. That's why I do my own stuff. It, see, it works backwards, though, because then you hit, like, that 10, 12 yeah. level, and a single encounter that challenges the party at all will level them. And it's like, yeah. where, what happened here? We got, yeah. we got lost in the weeds somehow. Yeah. All right. Well, the party shrinks, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll see I'm gonna where. One of the trees to be Brandon's character. No. You know, I, got, I already, hey Nate, I already have an idea, and I think you're gonna really like it. So I'll be happy to talk to you about it anytime. Okay. I do actually have a hard out uh in 10 minutes uh right. but uh i am down to hear about it i don't know if it, if it's an elevator pitch type thing that you you could hit me with uh while i'm walking to where i'm going yeah sure but okay then i'll call you on the side after i leave here cool. um but yeah nobody look at how simple and boring this map is that you're on i mean um, i still enjoy it Pay no attention to the fact that there are guards on riding horses. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hard not to. You know, one, two, three, bitch, four, bitch, you know. The different flavors of guard. Everybody control. hit the floor, bitch. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I'm interested where you guys think you're going to go. Do you have choices to make between the town of Wolfstone and No Man's Trading Post? Both of which are within a day's travel, but. One has a lot more open plain to cover, and the other is not the most hospitable to escaped prisoners. So we'll see what we see. Um, yes, yes, the map should be accurate in terms of measurement. We got this many miles to go. Also, I'm glad I did manage to make it kind of on time. Yeah, uh, no worries. That was that was uncertain. I'm just glad yeah, we got yeah, it. You're still getting situated, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and uh, hopefully I will be good to run uh, at least this, uh, this coming week. Hell oh, yeah. Don't rush, you know, get yourself set up and situated. I know that I yeah, always I feel bad if I'm way. trying to... I should be <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry about that last week, by the way. I was told by someone 